Star Report. I'm your host, Star. Welcome to the show. Folks, this is an emergency broadcast. I am so off balance. You see the title, The Rise and Fall of Fresh and Fit Podcast. I need alpha males on deck, uh, red pill, <laughs> OGs to talk about the audio that is in my communities, <laughs> community section. Fresh, <laughs> you're out of here, my nigga. <laughs> You're dismissed, huh? We need we need you to move on. Fresh has been exposed by his uh, Asian girlfriend, okay? You can hear her talking to him, asking him, is he going to do anything to her? Mind you, he's got no pimp hand at all. He's been buying her things, uh, supposedly $30,000 gifts. He's been smashing her for a month, and he, he got her pregnant, according to her. Now, he's somewhat sort of denying, you know, having uh, uh, showered her with lavish gifts. I'm not going to call her an escort, folks. I have no proof. But uh, you guys are getting at him. And let me just say right now to uh, Myron. My Myron is fit, for those who don't know. Myron, I fuck with you heavy. And if this video is offensive, send me an email and down this motherfucker will go. You guys know I don't go after other content creators. I'm... I'm too old to do that, and it doesn't benefit me. But this is an emergency broadcast, fresh and fit. There are text messages that uh, Fresh's uh, <laughs> soon-to-be baby mama has put out there. <laughs> oh, my God. I went on her uh, Instagram page, and she's with what appears to be his beautiful mother, giving her some type of gift, some, some expensive sandals. Damn, nigga, introducing her to moms. Troll babies, good evening. I need to know off the rip, is this typical tether behavior? Tether behavior, huh? All right, so um, a Fresh and Fit podcast uh, started back in uh, October of 2020. I haven't been on their page in a while since they got demonetized. I mean, I wish them the best. I like what they do. Um, Fresh is Walter Weeks. That's his government name. Uh, was he born in the uh, the states here? What what is it? it looks like his name should be something some type of a uh, uh, of a Nigerian dialect, you know? Umbatu Magaye. I don't know. Um, and Myron has got um, uh, I'm not sure what Myron's ethnicity is, but but again, I fuck with him heavy. He's former law enforcement, you know, and he quit that career. I hope he got his pension uh, to be a a content creator, and he is a social engineer. I'm, I'm going to say this early. I think I think Myron needs to go solo or get himself a new co-host. Fresh, you're out of here. You're out of here. Phone lines are open right now. A Florida boy, Jay, are you with me? Are you ready? Can you tap in? Um, somebody uh, tag Florida boy, Jay, please. I, I need a co-host. If he's not available, anybody who can educate me for, further. I've got a whole bunch of text messages. I don't want to read all of this shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I can only say at this point in time, and I've said this over the decades, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. In the name of the blood, to the beautiful women who, who killed my babies, huh? There wasn't a lot. I mean, you know, just eh, rarely do I, you know, bust off inside the coochie. But when I have slipped up, you know, back in the days, more so prior to 1991, you know, high off of that shit or whatever, you know, I found myself in a sticky situation. And that, that's when you have to really put, put your mat down. That's when you have to really, you know, talk to a bitch, you know, and make her understand I'm not going to be there for you, baby. You know, you, you can have it if you want to, but there's consequences and repercussions. <laughs> Uh, salute, salute you guys in the live chat. Um, Dage, are you out there? Guys, how's the audio? How's the spelling? Are we okay? We might do a goddamn marathon show tonight. So much to talk about. Um, also, holy smokes. Um, Charleston White has gone in on Sexy Red. Never met Charleston White, but uh, I fucked with Charleston heavy. Yes, he does a lot of trolling. However, he has put boots to the ground over the years. Uh, I saw his, his rise. He has not only stood with families in the state of Texas, he has worked with juveniles 
He has helped them with all sorts of paperwork, appeals. So I get past the, a lot of the trolling that he does. This is a man of um, this is a man of a certain pedigree and a certain caliber, but he has gone in balls deep on sexy red. Fellas, is it warranted? Does sexy red represent some type of downfall of of and I'm I'm just paraphrasing black success or elegance? You know, she's too young for me to to attack. You know, she's doing the damn thing. Maybe um her persona, her image will, will um help, I don't know, her 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 team, her her beautiful children. I think she just pushed out another another seed, right? But the image that she is putting out there, it's art. Let me just say that it's art. Is it really doing any type of disservice to the quote unquote black community? Now, um, let me just say this to be fair. In my opinion, nobody promotes hedonism and, and debauchery more than the Latin community. Oh, my goodness. If you were to, you know, uh, just turn off the volume on Telemundo or Univision <laughs> and just watch it for, I don't know, an hour and a half, you would swear you're looking at soft porn. Can I get an amen in the live chat, huh? That's all it is. Just, you know, <laughs> people gyrating, uh, groping each other and all sorts of just, you know, <laughs> salacious uh, uh, um, celebrating the flesh. Yes, no, maybe? Huh? All right, and a little bit later, we'll talk about Candace Owens challenging Ben Shapiro to a debate on Israel, Hamas, the war, and, uh, and uh, what is anti-Semitism. Um, can someone please educate me? Is uh, Candace Owens foundational black American? Um, I may have to ride with Candace. I've seen Ben Shapiro debate, and uh, I, saw him, I saw him get chewed up once upon a time by an older... A uh, British journalist, you know, Candace is going 10 toes down. Okay, all right, phone lines open. Uh, David, where are you? Be oh, pardon me, pardon me, guys. My showrunner, my showrunner. David, let let's get you on the line, man, or cam up, whatever you want to do. Send me an email, all right? Are black people cursed in the Bible? David, who is an author, and I will um, let him explain to you more his uh, his pedigree. He has called into the show on multiple occasions, uh, very, very knowledgeable man, and he has uh, to date three books out. His new book is called Angels. You can look in my community section, and you can find a direct link to order his new book, and I, I recommend that you do. He and I have been talking over the months, and I want to, him to come on the, the show here and challenge some people, okay? So, are black people cursed in the Bible? That's the first uh, question. David, if you're listening, please just text me when you're ready, okay? And, uh, I'm, you know, you know my position. I'm a non-believer. I woke up from the dream, you know, but I respect those who subscribe to the unknown as long as you don't, you know, push your, your beliefs upon me, you know? Anyway, um, David is, uh, he's ready. He wants to smoke. And what's, Troll Babies, what's the guy's name from last night who called in? Was it Chris? Chris, if you're out there, sir, um, email us and let's get you on the line. David said he wants round two with you. And he said, don't be ducking. <laughs> don't be ducking, all right? All right, guys, later. Not now because I'm doing too much right now. Later, I want to give you black women a chance to respond to what I perceive to be excessive hatred towards black females. This is the objective perspective, and I will throw you curveballs from time to time, but many of you beautiful black women, and this is not pandering, you support this show, you, you trust in me that what I say is not by way of a malicious intent, but uh, when I spoke about that documentary yesterday, I was really kind of appalled that more, more black men did not um, care. So later on, ladies, I want to ask you, are black men cowards? Are they pussy? Why don't they crash out? Huh? They got black mamas, black daughters, black aunties, black nieces, black grandmothers. Why don't they crash out? The white man crashes out for his. He has been since the dawn of fucking history. 
Someone sent in a comment yesterday, um, a YouTube channel at the Fizz Factory. I'm, I'm going to read it a little bit later. It, it's, it's saying black men don't care because they internally hate themselves. And then it goes on and and it, spoke, it speaks about, pardon me, speaks about why they don't care. And I'll, I'll read it more in depth, but uh, just calling black men out. So I'm going to give you that opportunity, okay? Okay, Aaron, just, just tap in right now. We, I'm trying to get it lit, my nigga. Let's go. I see you, man. How are you? Hey, Star. How's it going? It's going great, man. Perfect. Got a little echo in the background. Let's get the, the earphones in right now. Is it gone? Can you still a little bit of echo still? Or no, I can hear you. D, okay. is there any echo coming from David? I want to make sure that we're good. Otherwise, okay. I'll maybe ditch the earphones. Yeah. Hey, man, whenever you text me, always say your name, okay? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I, I don't save numbers. <laughs> Fuck is who. Okay, so um, tell people who you are uh, and the correct pronunciation of your last name and your new book, Angels, in my community section, please. My name is David D. Cordova. De Cordova, if you're fancy. I'm the author of three books, and they're all about the Bible. I deal with the symbolic interpretation of the Bible. So my books are available on Amazon. They're very small books, easy to read, and it's purposefully done that way. And it was intentional right. because this generation has a short attention span. So yeah. I'm not going to belabor them with uh, countless pages of, of uh, stuff. So it's very hard hitting to the point. Right. You know, just like uh, the Communist Manifesto. Mm. That, that book by Karl Marx, that was right. a small book. But look at how it predicted the future. So yeah. that, that's actually a great strategy. Um, so, so are you a religious scholar? What is your, um, uh, uh, in terms of religion, you and I have spoken before, but what is it people need to know about why you are knowledgeable in this area of the Bible? I always had a genuine interest uh, in the Bible ever since a young child. I've always been interested uh, in scripture, most likely due to my upbringing, the fact that I have a Sephardic Jewish father and a Christian mother. So I went to Roman Catholic school. I was raised Roman Catholic. So I was reading the Bible from a very young age, and I had to unlearn everything that I learned because everything that I learned in the school system, my father would always tell me the opposite. <laughs> so it created a I guess somewhat of a confusion. So I, I had a quest for answers that made me want to search okay. because it was contradictory. So I got to be exposed to both sides, Judaism and Christianity. And then I had a, a interest in Islam looking into their uh, doctrine as well. So. Okay. So you didn't go to school to become a priest or anything. This is just a personal uh, fascination and uh you, you 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 have written these books, good books. I've read two of them, and and this is um, your your um, uh, your statement uh, in a sense. Yes, yes, very much so. This is my imprint. This is my stamp. Okay, okay, okay. Um, are black people cursed in the Bible? Okay, uh, the 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 curse of Ham or Canaan. Um, uh, I shot this question to you er earlier. Well, well, two questions, uh, uh, but. Uh, where do you want to start with this? Because a lot of people have always had that misconstrued. And uh, I think we can have a good discussion tonight. And guys, yeah. David wants people to chime in. He's looking for that smoke. All Please, smoke. Yeah. So black people are absolutely 100% not curse. That's not the case. It's not true. The story of him is symbolic. And once again, this is what I, I promote, symbolic interpretation. So the Bible was foretelling a future prediction of what would happen to Africa because Ham represents Africa. So it was predicting colonialism because Ham uncovered his father's nakedness. And the misconception was we thought he was cursed because he saw his father naked. Actually, quite to the contrary, he was blessed because he got the full revelation oh. of his father. Oh, he, no. was able, he was able to see what his other two brothers couldn't handle. Well, well now, hang on a second, David. Go yeah. go back and talk about the, the uncovering and, and, yeah. and how that came to be for those who you know may want some more sure. context. 
So it's all symbolic. So in the, in the biblical narrative, Noah was drunk and he has three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Right. And they represent Europe, Asia, and Africa. Ham represents Africa. So according to the story, Ham uncovered his father's negative. negative. Why? Why did he uncover his father's He naked? just happened to stumble in and, and find him drunk like that. So we thought that it was a shame and disgrace and that because Ham represents Africa, that somehow he was cursed. No, he saw something that his other two brothers couldn't handle. So he got the fullest extent of his father's revelation, what was revealed. So this is all symbolic. The curse came from his immaturity because he laughed and giggled when he saw his father's nakedness. So let me jump in. Let, let me jump in. Yeah, and sure. and I, I want to, you know, uh, again, throw some curveballs, you know, mm -hmm. pause uh, to to have a healthy conversation. Um, OK, so symbolic in nature, but highly influential. If we look at the uh, the, the the slave trade and, and the slaves that came um, uh, to, to North America here for hundreds of years, the the Bible was programmed into their heads and if we go to other religions that curse people lived by that curse in a sense and they accepted their position beneath their white masters yes yeah because the bible was used to advocate slavery so it was a system of mind control that was implemented on the slave population to control them so most definitely that that is definitely a reality but as, but the bible also predicts the future and africa being stripped naked in the same way noah was stripped naked means that it would be robbed of its minerals and resources so that was the stripping uh that was the curse of canaan which is the son of ham but here's where it's a mess canaan if the black man is cursed and he represents ham and canaan is his son well, Canaan geographically is Israel. So how can Canaan be cursed? Because then Israel would have to be cursed. Stop right there. Now, when you bring up Israel, are you talking about the, the those from the original 12 tribes who are still going through, you know, um, um, a suffering, if you will? They're not being their voices, their um, a position within Judaism is not being recognized. So symbolic, yes, I hear you. And, and I've always referenced the Bible that, that I read in great detail over the decades as folklore. So would we be talking about the original Jews, the 12 tribes? Well, it, it's different because they say that the 10 tribes were obliterated by the Assyrians, leaving only two left. Now this whole new concept of the original Hebrews having to flee into the interior of Africa and then hiding amongst African tribes. Those are the ones that got sold in the transatlantic slave trade and came to America. They say 23% of the slave trade was consisted of the Igbo tribe, which is linked to the original Hebrew Israelites. Okay. So it's quite possible. It makes, it makes sense. I've never... Uh, went against some of the Hebrew Israelite teachings. I'm not there to um, go against them in that regard. The problem is it's 23%. What about the other 77%? So when you say all African-Americans are Hebrew Israelites, it's an erroneous statement. I, I, I didn't say I didn't no, say No, no, not you. Yeah. It's, it was only 23%. So... <laughs> But <laughs> the American black man is black. <laughs> These African American niggas are, are something different. Hang on a second. Um, guys, um, 105 one fam. I sent you the link to cam up, or do you want to call in? If you don't want to cam up, just send me an email and say star I'm on the line. Um, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I want to make sure I'm acknowledging people. Frank White, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, Frank White says, "Star niggas are cowards." Yes, to to the uh, to the woman who sent in that uh, that comment. Yes, I'm gonna get to her comment shortly. Uh, at the Fizz Factory eight seven zero three. 
Hang on a second, David. Sure. I'm doing so much here. I just like going crazy. Um, Shazam, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Um, and Jamal, Jamal, do you want to cam up? He says Candace Owens is a tether. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. I thought she was a foundational black. Okay. So maybe we won't, we won't support her. David, um, continue. And I want to leave that door open so people can chime in with regards to the question are black people cursed in the Bible? Yeah, so the curse was not taking their position seriously. And that's basically told in the story. He had the knowledge. The black man was in the power position. He had the advantage because he had the knowledge of God. And that's what the story is trying to show you. Him seeing his father naked was him getting the fullest extent of his father's revelation. That means he had the full knowledge of God. So it would mean that he had the advantage over his other two brothers. He saw something that they didn't see that they couldn't handle. So that's the symbolic interpretation of that story. Okay. And as a result of him not taking his position seriously, he lost everything. So I think that's what it was trying to, to tell us. Okay. Um, David, sit tight. I have to, I'm, I'm, I'm like all over the place for this evening. I, I, I don't usually do shows on Saturday and now my fucking print printer <laughs> is jammed. Guys, we're focusing on the rise and fall of the Fresh and Fit podcast. Um, Florida Boy J is a little bit busy, so I'm, I'm looking for someone, anyone to call in and educate me on the fallout. I watched a few videos earlier, but I'm not fully, fully in, this, in, in the loop. And um, Walter Weeks, that's his name. That, that's Fresh. Fresh Prince CEO. Did, oh, my God, I have to ask, did he buy his soon-to-be baby mama a Birkin bag? Oh! <laughs> That's against the G-code. I don't give a fuck what Future and the rest of these goofy niggas do. Drake is a trick. <laughs> don't fall for the bullshit. D did Fresh buy his soon-to-be Chinese baby mama a Birkin bag? Lord Jesus. Uh, Kill Mo Lemonade. Okay, you're calling in, so I need your area code. Uh, did, 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 yeah, oh, whoa. Okay. Um, how do I say your name? In Vanity. Thank you for your support. Yes, our blacks are cursed by Islam, uh, comma, Christianity. Hmm. Hold on a second. I want, I want to get some people on the line here this evening. Uh, area code 202. Good evening. We're uh, having a show all over the place. Are you there? Are you ready? 202. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Yes, sir. I'm I'm Kim Eliminate. I'm calling in. Hey, what's up, man? To explain. Okay, so I I wanted to chime in on on the black is cursed topic real quick, and um, I wanted to say briefly real quick about how he mentioned Israel and Canaan. First of all, let me just say this: that Canaan, uh, it's, it, the scripture doesn't say that Ham is cursed. It says that Canaan is cursed. It says curse is Canaan, and then Canaan is the Canaan, because listen, I'm a Bible scholar myself, so okay. it says curse is Canaan. It does not say curse is Ham. We got a star is always famous for saying Africa is a continent. So we can't sit here and act like all, oh, you know what I mean? But but the point is this, though, because this is before, this is during the time where the earth was not divided. So we also have to think about that, okay, because the earth was not divided yet. So it was, And Israel didn't even come into a nation yet, so we need to slow it down. Israel is during after Abraham, after Jacob. He is, Jacob is the forefather. He is the father of Israel, okay? He's the father of Esau. I mean, excuse me. He's the father of, uh, excuse me, sorry about that. Uh, Jacob is the, um, is also the nub of the name of Israel. Sometimes he's called Jacob, sometimes he's called Israel. But we have to understand that those 12 tribes, you know what I mean? They they come out of Isaac, okay? They come out of Isaac. If I can jump in for a second, so, if I can jump in for a second, and I appreciate what you're saying. I want you and David to have a conversation. I have to fix my goddamn printer. Um, but but now I'm sure you will uh, agree that many people make the reference to the curse of Ham. It's not so much that I'm trying to push that narrative, but if you were to Google the curse of Ham, they, they do make a lot of churches and people have made that reference but you're right it is actually canaan but uh you know we're we're, we're trying yeah. to 
comb through it. David, can you respond to this man whilst I work on my printer? Sure. Please, can you hear him? Yep, so curse be Canaan, curse be Canaan, a servant of servants. So yes, you're most definitely correct, and that is true, but it's been known as the curse of Ham, but it's about his son Canaan, which is the grandchild. So yeah, the, the, that's absolutely true. So Canaan was said to be a servant of servants because- hey, Hang on a second, da David, hold on a second. Sir, you've got a lot of noise in the background. Can you make the adjustments? It's like clicking and, and all sorts of noise, please. No problem, no problem. Go ahead, David. Yeah, so I'm in 100% agreement with you. Uh, I see no error in what you're saying. That's absolutely fact. It is the curse of Canaan, the grandchild of Noah, which is the son of Ham. Curse be Canaan, a servant of servants. And what that means is that when the children of Israel left in Exodus, and they came, they were former slaves, the ch children of Israel, when they came to the land of Canaan, the Canaanites ended up serving them. So they became a servant of servants, uh, meaning the children of Israel, former slaves or servants to the Egyptians. So, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, and, and so that needs to be clarified because it can give off the – it could give off the, 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 the you know, the cadences if we're, we're talking about blacks or curse. And the thing is, I also wanted to say this is that Scripture, Paul, the Apostle Paul says, curse, he says, is everyone who does not love the Lord Jesus Christ. Let him be anathema. Remember? Okay? Yeah. So we can't, so everyone, it says, if you do not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be accursed. Okay? So everybody, every race in the scripture, according to scripture, if we want to keep it the way how the, because it says we're laid under the uh, the foundation of the apostles and prophets, the prophets and the apostles. So if we're under the foundation of the prophets and the apostles. We got to keep it 100. And it's not called the Bible. Bible means book. It's called the Holy Scripture. Okay. Okay. Now, hang on a second. Sir. I want to stay on topic with regards to the actual question. I think you and David have already established that you're both uh, you know, understanding and agreeing about the, the, the curse is not actually Ham, even though multiple sources say the curse of Ham. So the question, sir, are black people cursed in the Bible? This uh, a progress, sad programming uh, mind job that has gone on for hundreds of years, that's the question. Can you give, can you speak to that? Are black people cursed? Or Africans, because in the scripture, it was referenced to Africa. Yes? So, oh. With, with, in regards to the curse, a lot of us, we, we, we tend to associate that curse with slavery. We associate that curse with us not being able, with crabs in the barrel type of talk. Now, I want to say this, uh, touching on slavery. The word, sla if the word boss didn't exist yet. The word, the word uh, employee didn't exist yet. So we have to understand that word slave means servant. And everybody, slavery was... Sir, sir I don't mean to, to cut you short, but I want us to deal with the cursed, as opposed to breaking down every little word and syllable. The question, again, are black people cursed? Please. Well, I'm keeping it biblical. Everyone who does not love the Lord or follow the Lord Jesus Christ, it says, let him be a curse. There you so, go. So, yes, if we're not following, so if we're, this is the reason why we were doing better when we came out of slavery and we were following Jesus Christ. When we, My grandmother didn't even see white people. She lived a great life. I mean, I'm not saying every black person did, but you right. see that they had, we, we, we're the ones who brought forth Tulsa. Um, we're the ones who brought forth, you know, the black Wall Street. We're the ones who brought forth all these industries. And, and you know, we, we and technically, and technically, uh, Asians are Africans because they're called the Sinites. Speak, Speak on it. Speak on it. Sin is where, Sinites. Is where you get the word China. It comes from the Quin Dynasty, Q I N, then it was S I N, and then it was Quin Dynasty. So the Sinites are the sons of ha Canaan, okay? So, yeah. and Canaan, we already know, is the uh, son of Ham, and Ham's sons, one of his two of his sons, are Egypt and Ethiopia, okay? okay. So, with that being now, hang on a second, Mr. Ram, yeah. Back up on calls. So, you're saying uh, on a broader spectrum, everyone <laughs> is cursed, not just Canaan. Yes, according to scripture. According to scripture. See, that's the thing. Yeah. See, that's the thing. We yeah. we we tend to act like we tend to act like this is a white person's book or this is a black person's book or this is an Israelite no, book. No, no, God no, was no, killing sir. Them Israelites. This is God's law. Oh. This is God's law. This is God. It ain't about race. 
he ain't even tripping off a race. Right. He even wiped out people. He he done started the world all over again after wiping everybody out. Yeah. He ain't tripping. Yeah. Yeah, we got to keep it all the way intact. We make this book about race. And God is trying to tell everybody, listen, all y'all, if, if you with me, he said there's no Greek nor Jew. Right. And he, he, if you roll it with me, though, but if you roll it with me, though, you feel me? Yeah. So it's not about so race. Gonna act like- Hang on, sir. David, you want to respond? And then let's okay. give this man the last word. Go ahead, David. Yeah, just a question. Okay. Okay. It's not about race, but would you say it's about nations? Does God address nations in this book? It's about sin. It's about sin. And it's about coming out of Babylon as a symbolic reference to the worldliness. Not necessarily. See, he used these things as, as examples. Like for one, for a time, Egypt represented the world because they were they was fat and they was you know when I say fat, I mean like off the off the king's bread and wine. You know what I mean? Like they were they were the civilization practically started in Israel. I mean uh, Egypt. I mean they started lemonade for crying out loud, and I make lemonade. Okay. So with that being said, you know you know what I mean yeah. Look at your research. Lemonade started in e- e- Egypt. But my point is that, is, is that, you know, a, a civilization and the civilized life came from Egypt, but they were also so so high-minded in their civil lifestyle that they were, you know, too big for the britches and heavy and thin. And so you got the same thing with the Greeks. You yeah. got the same thing with the Romans. You got the same thing with, with Babylon. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And we and, and I'm, ty- I'm sick and tired of us acting like this is a white man's religion. Yeah. And and then black people, it was put on us when you got in the book of Acts chapter. Eight. Sir, I, I have to jump in. I appreciate your knowledge. Are you a okay? A content, okay, because no, the Ethiopians no, are, you, are, are you a content creator, sir? Do you have a, a platform? Do you have a your channel? Kill Mo Lemonade. I'm a, I'm I'm running things in IG. Okay. Kill Mo Lemonade. Lemonade from the, Lemonade all over the DMV. It's taking over. It's taking off. Thank it's you, crazy. man. I, black man. I appreciate the call, man. Thank you so much. Hmm. God bless. Yes, sir. All right. God bless. All right. David, uh, before I bring in other people, we're getting uh, some some good uh, uh, discussion yeah. going here. And on the, the, the showrunner, that's David's YouTube channel, folks, youtube.com forward slash at DBD1646. David? So since he acknowledges that civilization originated in Egypt, why doesn't he worship Amun-Ra? Why is he so into Jesus? Because he says if you don't follow Jesus, you're well, cursed. He, he, he's gone now, but let, let's pull yeah. it back to our topic, you know. Um, um, the the curse of Canaan, Ham, whatever you yeah. want to call it. Um, yeah, I I, <laughs> I, I, I do believe <laughs> that uh, people are cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Me, the non-believer, <laughs> the person who is d- devoid of mysticism, and so on. <laughs> so, yeah, n- n- niggas are cursed, man. N- n- niggas are the permanent underclass. The fuck? David said, tight a second. Uh, Joe Pilot, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Uh, oh, fresh a simp. He wiped up a sugar baby. Joe Pilot, might you want to call in? I need to be educated. I mean, I I support the show. I th- I thought what they did was beautiful. You know, I don't even go after other content creators. That's not my thing. But the audio that is in my community section is heartbreaking. <laughs> Get heartbreaking. He he doesn't even have have the gift of gab to to show her. Listen, if you take care of that situation, it baby, it's me and you. We we, we can turn this around. I'll, hey, I'll make you a co-host on the show. That's what he should have been telling her. L- listen, listen. I'll talk to Fit. We'll, we'll 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 work all this out, Boo Boo. We're gonna bring you in. You know. But but I need you to take that plan B and just and just handle that so that I can really, you know, so I can really get to moving, shaking and popping. He said to her, I don't want to have any babies. And she said, no, he said, why do you want to have a baby now? And she said, well, why did you make me pregnant? Gave the nigga a wheel kick and he's supposed to be a fucking red pill. Uh, thank you, Joe Pilot, again. Um, Jay Ella got your donation. Uh, he says, David has the full knowledge of bussy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, hey, Janet, are you tapping? And Janet, uh, I can't read uh, a long email, but uh, you're always welcome to, to chime in if you like, okay? 
All right, let's go to area code 973. Uh, good evening. A, a little bit of a mess tonight, but um, we are here. Are you there, 973? What's going on? Yeah, well, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. How are you? Yeah, so um, I just wanted to, you know, to, you know, break down this whole fresh thing. So what what questions did you have? Because, you know, I'm I'm tapped in. Like, you know, I've, I've watched them since they kind of started. Okay. The, uh, start of the pandemic oh, and whatnot. So okay. Uh, please keep in mind that I don't like to attack other platforms. I like what they do. No, no, no. I no. like what they do. Is this is this for clout or is this real? Is is this woman? And let's not call um, her, let's not call her an escort. I don't know. I'm not trying to get sued. Um, yeah, is she, this real? She's not an escort. Yeah, I, I so yeah, I, I believe it is real. Um. She's not an escort, which is ridiculous. She is a uh, like she's a former Miss, like she's a former swimsuit model, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, they did a stream yesterday, um, talking about it. they had a lawyer on there, the uh, popular. Uh, I know he does a lot of like podcasts, like NY divorce attorney or something like that. And um, the divorce attorney, you know, kind of broke down everything, saying like this is you know common ploy from this area, you know, to use like uh, you know. Um, uh, falsified, you know, uh, uh, voice recognition software, like, you know, commonly used, like, by AI and stuff like that. Like you said, he's seen the case, you know, many times. Um, you know, the same exact kind of ploy for money. I mean, you know, he was going into, like, for, you know, fresh, like, you know, fresh, you, you really made it because, you know, you, you have women, you know, trying to put babies on you and whatnot. And, and this lawyer, you know, is pretty reputable. Like, he rep represents, like, $8 okay, now ha hang on a second, sir. I, I don't even want to promote mm -hmm. the fucking lawyer. I heard Fresh. Okay, sorry, I, sorry. I heard Fresh, wh who has no game with the females, co mm -hmm. damn near copping a plea. I heard a woman who barely speaks English language wrapping this nigga around her fingers. Okay, so maybe, I mean, she, maybe uh, she's not an escort, sir, but she's a 304 <laughs> talking to that sure. nigga. Talking to that. I mean, nigga. well, well, she. I mean, he, she, she tried to catch him up. If you listen, she, she was. Sir, a, she's got him. Kind of sir, 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 she's got the nigga's seed. She's got a check, baby, sir. But we don't know that. We don't know that to be true, star. Come on, come on. Check, baby, check, baby, one, two. Check, baby, check, baby. Check. David, uh, you got some audio in the background. Can you turn everything off, please? Sir, go ahead. I'm just. I'm, no, on, I'm on one, sir. Pardon me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, everything's off. Yeah, no, we don't know that that's true, Star. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, I, I, I mean, you're fairly successful. Has this never happened to you? Where a joint was like, yo, you know, I got the kid, yada, yada, yada. Let me, you know, get some money for the yacht. Because they were saying yesterday that the reason she said that is because Fresh wouldn't move her out to Florida and buy her a crib because they stopped talking. And then she popped up and called with that. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know. I just feel like, it, you know, they, it, again, a crazy rap. I mean, like, it's just a lot of misinformation. People are just quick to hate them, and and the hate stems from the fact that you know, yeah, they they might do goofy shit, you know, yada 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 every now and then. But the the core, of what they stand for, I mean, you yourself said you agree with it, and you know, I agree with it too. Like, there's a there's a vacuum for anything positive that's male that's not like you know. On, on the on the rainbow side or whatever, you know, it's, it's, there's a huge vacuum for it. So if I can jump in, sir, do you want to cam up? Because listen, man, I hear what you're saying, but we're talking about a nigga who has been simping on audio. So whether she is or isn't pregnant, she's talking down to this nigga, the so-called leader of the red pill movement, talking to this, <laughs> talking to this nigga like he's her son. And he his he's tongue tied, you know. I just do you want to cam up? I mean, if, yeah, if not, if you don't want to cam up, go ahead and take your time. No, I'll cam up. No, I'll cam up. I'll cam up. But just tell me what I gotta do. S send me an email, man. The hater one nine six four yahoo.com. I'm I'm not kicking oh. their backs in. I fuck with Myron heavy. No, I know you do. Heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. If Myron Eastman, I'm, I'm, if, if Myron he, emails me and says, email, OG, I'm can you take that video down? This motherfucking video comes down. But send me an email. Hold on a second. Sit tight. Sit tight, sir. Um, D David, uh, we're going to get back to uh, our black people cursed. Are you up to speed on Fresh and Fit? Not that you have to be. David. Yeah. Uh, the hater 1960 at yahoo.com. Okay. 64. 1964. Yahoo.com. Okay. 
Fresh Heart yeah, Lee. Right. Never I'm really on hold, sir. Wells, you do that. Good. You were saying, David. Yeah, Fresh Hardly ever never really even talked on the show. I caught a I caught a few episodes here and there, but he wasn't like a communicator or anything. Myron like carried the show. He was kind of just there. He just added a few, you know, here and there commentary, but he wasn't really a strong presence on the show. So I don't know. Myron was the one. It was more him and the guests that they would have. Whenever they had guests, that was like the the feature. And then the well, the, the name of the show is Fresh and Fit. So, so it's fre Fresh is the lead quarterback. <laughs> do, do you understand where I'm coming from? If yeah. your name has got top billing first, you're supposed to stand on it, man. Stand on business, as they say. Yeah. And they, what they the heat for, like, they said that they didn't date women of color or uh, dark skinned women at one point. So they just got, bounced back from that. And now they got this to deal with. So there it seems like they're in a lot of, a lot of problems. Salute to dark skinned women who, if you, if you bust off inside them raw and you say, baby, I just, I really don't want no kids. I'll just, I'll, I'll break you off. Uh, uh, 2,500 a month for five years. Can you get rid of it? And just say, okay, I'll do that. Salute to those women. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not saying I've ever gone through that, but I'm just saying we got an Asian talk, talking to this nigga. Hold on a second. Somebody sent in a donation. Niggas out here running up in bitches raw and then start tearfully begging them to have abortions. Facts. Hmm. The, the nigga didn't even have his begging game down. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Jell, I got you donation 770. Hold on a second. Jell said he wants some smoke with you. Mm, okay. Uh, I don't see him in the queue just yet. Let me bring it in the meantime. Uh, 936. Good evening. Are you there? 936. You got to turn that down in the background or we got to let you go. 936 in five, four, three, two, one. Thank you for calling. Folks, do not call up in here trying to kill the vibe. With a whole bunch of shit in the background. 858, good evening. Are you there? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Star. Yes, sir. You've yeah, got I'm ready. I'm up to You've got to take the headset off, please, sir. We need to hear you. Okay, I'll call you back then. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, all that fly. All that fly shit with the headset. I got the Bluetooth. I'm talking to the bitch on the other line. <laughs> Joe, I don't see you in the queue just yet. I'll come back and look for you. <laughs> uh five one two good evening five one two are you there yes no maybe on the other line star yes yes hey you're talking about uh fresh and fit that's what we're doing so are you ready you ready yes sir i uh i was a big fan i started watching early in like 2020 um and the red pill, I found like a lot of value in it. Mm -hmm. um, but I also found like some things that were inconsistent with the messaging. Um, and like, I don't know, I was a big fan of like Myron and Fresh in the beginning, but like they have more and more accusations against them. And most of them I was able to like kind of brush off and like listen to their side of the story, story so to speak. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one just doesn't seem to add up and like right. really seems to be like the the straw that broke the camel's back i would say like i don't know if i can really write take your time i want you to walk me through this um is, is this is this a death blow to fresh did you hear the audio that's in my community section uh i actually listened to them reacting to it and they played the audio of the call i don't know if it's the same thing you have um <laughs> but yeah it was it was it just looked bad like <laughs> They had their own lawyer on the show too. It was kind of like back and forth. Never mind. Ne never mind the cloud chasing lawyer. I want to get right to the meat and the potatoes <laughs> okay. of the bullshit. How okay. old are you? How old are you? I'm um, 32. Okay. 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 Yeah. So so now, um, Fresh is begging this girl, man. He doesn't even know how how to really talk to her. You see, you can't sit up on the microphone and talk that G shit, and then behind the scenes, you're simping. You know. And you're damn near on your knees for a bitch. That 
no, we're not we're not accepting it. And that's what the audio sounds like. Yes, based upon what you heard. Yeah, he sounds he sounds terrible. He sounds like a lame. And like a lot of people have accused him of like riding Myron's coattails and like just kind of going off of his opinions, not really having his own thoughts. And um he he brags about having a thousand lay count, which I really don't give a shit about, but a lot of people have called BS on that and really said like he seems so cheesy, like I would really believe in this guy has game and is smooth with the ladies when he seems so awkward, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all the, all this stuff, people ragging on him. And I just kind of ignored it all the time. But now it's like, it's hard to ignore with this one. It seems super blatant, super obvious. And it's just like, yeah, like I just, I've been a fan the whole time, like I said, and I've stuck to him through the other allegations, but this just seems to be like so clear cut that it's hard for me to like, just kind of brush it aside. Is this a clout chase? I mean, a lot of people do a lot of shit, man. Is this all set up? Is this chick not pregnant, but, you know, they, they, they've they uh, concocted this scheme, you know, kind of like how I did back in the days with the, I mean, you're too young to know, but the whole Aliyah stunt. I organized that, and I told it, uh, the female co-host what to do, what to say, and when to walk off the show. So it's not it, unimaginable that they couldn't have concocted this what do you think i just think it's that couldn't be true but i feel like unless you're just thinking all publicity is good publicity but i feel like this is something that because critics of the show have already been on fresh and like that's one of his main as someone who's a fan of the show i've seen people that criticize the show and they say that's one of the things they try to detract him for like oh i don't believe that he's this big g like you say i don't believe that he's had a thousand lake out i don't believe that he's really smooth with the ladies because of all this other stuff we see and it just uh it just doesn't seem to add up really okay, okay. before you go and i appreciate uh, you you um educating me on this um if if he does step down or if myron decides to to cut ties i would like to see myron continue you know d- talking the red pill talk uh, who would be a good co-host in your opinion male or female mm. I don't know. I I think Myra might consider Pearl. I know that's someone he's collaborated with. Um, just pearly things. I'm not J- just pearly things. Yeah. No. Potentially. No, potentially. No, you no, don't think? No. 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 I don't know. I can't see. I can't see him really. Uh, I, I I like her. I, hang on a second. I like her, but they would be on the same page. What about Candace Owens and Fit? Mm, she was recently on the show, and they got along, and like. They had a pretty good vibe, and like they said, they yeah. tend to agree on a lot of stuff. But she, she tends to relate a little bit more to the women and be like a little bit softer than he is. And kind bingo. Of the gap, so that would have been. B- bingo. Yeah. You know? bingo. Yeah, I saw her on there recently, yeah. probably about two weeks ago. So that's not a bad thought. I saw the thumbnail, but I didn't see the episode. Hey, man, I appreciate the call and thank you for tapping in. Thank you. I appreciate you. So, okay. All right. Okay. Rako, Rako says, could this be a play by Fresh? For content, yeah. I don't know if this is a play. <laughs> oh my god, guys, where is Dope Man? Dope Man, are you out there? Uh, I think this is seven seven zero. Gel, is that you, sir? Tap it in late night seven seven zero. Gel. Yeah, this the situation with Fresh and Fit is a sad one. You have a whole generation of young men following behind these gentlemen and not learning anything. We act like these guys are spitting game. If you look at their guests on the show, mm-hmm. these are fetal alcohol syndrome looking chicks that mm-hmm. are bottom of the barrel. There's no one of substance at all on that show. Okay. So uh, it, the, 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 their followers are just looking for drama. And this kid, fresh, I mean, that woman had him wrapped around his head. I mean, she telepathed that whole damn call. If you didn't see that that was a setup from a mile away, right. you had a problem. <laughs> he needed to cut that phone call off say nothing speak to my lawyer but now she knows she has leverage because he put himself out there these guys are late bloomers they've never had any women so once they get some bread these women get out because they're not dealing with the women that are on the show they're dealing with women in miami that are are, are smart and understand how to go go at them they get a piece of tail like this they never have scammers pickpocket bitches that woman played him like a funky piano Mm. So if she's pregnant, she played him like a banjo at a hoedown. Yeah, you're there right. There you go. You're right. Yeah, come on. And he'll get he'll get played again too. 
because he does not know how to handle women. He does not understand power. He does not understand that money does not equate to power. Right. Right. And there it is. Yeah. Bottom line, sad what? situation, but it will happen again. So yeah. if his followers lo learn anything, learn from this. Stay with, stay with me a second. Trust because it's dissolving. It, stay with me because I haven't been watching the show, you know, since they got demonetized. And that's not because of anything other than, you know, I, I don't like to overly critique the younger generation. Let them do their thing. Let them make their mistakes. Um, I think his credibility is gone behind that audio, behind, as you just described, uh, lame behavior. Uh, I, I can't hit, take him serious from this point on with regards to anything that comes out of his mouth. The bummiest nigga with no money knows how to talk to a bitch. Damn, because he needs a place to sleep, and he will find a way to find a way to sleep. Bingo. But this man's out here with paper Bingo. and cannot understand how to connect the two. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> any, co any, yeah, com no, yeah. any, any comments, Joe? Uh, we're talking Bible talk. David is on the screen here. Are black people cursing Bible? Any thoughts or do you not want to get into that? When it comes to the Bible, I really don't go that route. But, I mean, black people are cursed because we refuse to do for self. Mm. That's what it all comes down to at the end of the day. We're deaf, dumb, and blind, and we refuse to look at ourselves for who we are and what we need. And until we look at ourselves and do a full assessment, we're dead. We're Great. not cursed. We're dead. Great comment, sir. Thank Have you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Gel tapping in. Woo. Uh, hang on a second, David. Got a donation here from El Bocito Galore. Behind every successful black man is a strong lady boy. <laughs> David, sit tight for a second because... Um, Someone uh, posted a comment on my show yesterday, and I want to acknowledge this person, whether it was a uh, female, I assume it's a female or a whoever, uh, the YouTube channel uh, at the Fizz Factory uh, 8703. Black men don't care with respect to the documentary that I was talking about yesterday about um, 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 missing black women, right? And I was asking the audience, do you guys care? Why don't you care? The comment says, black men don't care because they internally ha hate themselves. They mm -hmm. hate who created them, but they can't take it out of their, can't take it out on their moms and family. So they take it out on innocent women in the community. They don't care because they fail to comprehend that they can only be created by black women. They don't care because they can't save us. They couldn't save themselves from slavery, Jim Crow, lynchings, etc. They are the docile male being, oh, subjugated by white supremacy, and they actually love it. Why change what you love? Now I have to make a long ass comment about why black women don't care. I think that was a brilliant comment with regards to um, what appears to be Black men not caring about missing black women or black children. I was really appalled by the response. Um, did you see yesterday's show by any chance, David? Oh yeah, I was I was up. I watched it. Yeah, that that address is deep because it's like uh, psychologically ingrained that inferiority complex that a lot of men of color have. Like it touches on self hatred. And then you could even tap on interracial dating as a byproduct of that. Could that potentially be why uh, men of color pursue uh, lighter, fair skinned women, just like fresh and fit when they made that comment uh, that they don't date uh, dark skinned black women. So there could be a lot of truth to what she's saying. This inferiority complex, it's ingrained. Assuming, assuming it's a female, it, it might be a, a male. Wow. Transitioning, or, you know, and I'm not trying to be funny, but it might be a gay black male yeah. sp speaking. Um, I think it was it was worth me regurgitating for the audience, you know. And again, not that everybody has to chime in on on these topics, but um, man, the, the the documentary about missing black uh, women and children, and the HBO series, I, which I started to watch, and then I said, you know what, nobody cares. Why am I going to waste my time? You were saying, go ahead. Yeah, it's deep rooted, psychologically ingrained to dislike ourselves on account of our features, our skin color, 
And I think Dr. Umar Johnson touches a lot about on, on this as well, because like the psychology behind it, why do men of color pursue uh, different ethnicities, different race women? So it's deep. There, there could be some merit to that. Is there, a, a, so despite all the popularization of black males and mainstream media, could there still be a low self-esteem uh, complex? And how is that? Because if you dominate sports and music, right. and entertainment, everyone glorifies and publicizes the black male. You're so quick to run around here and shoot and kill your brother. So. <laughs> but when a goddamn earthquake hits you, you get to shake it. <laughs> Shaking in your boots, clacking at your knees, screaming for mama and Jesus. Yeah, so how could you have a low self-esteem complex? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. You know? can, can the black man save the black woman? Or is he a coward? Hang on a second, David. Uh-oh. Chris, area code 678 from yesterday. Oh, Chris, nice. thank you. This is me. I'm Chris. Holy yeah. guacamole. I'm surprised you answered my call. Well, sir, I don't know who you are. You know, I mean, somebody sent me a random email. Yes, okay. Are you Chris? No, I, it's a long line. That's all I mean. Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm popping. I'm looking at 35 calls here. <laughs> um, are you yes, the sir. Chris from yesterday? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. D David uh, and I. Blessing, sir. And thank you for answering the line. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. So, so uh, I would like to have a discussion. Yesterday, you guys were talking on top of each other. I respect your knowledge, yes, but sir. in order for us to have a, a conversation that people can hear and engage, I, we have to make it so that you speak, let him speak, so on and so forth. The question tonight, absolutely. The question tonight: Are black people cursed in the Bible? Might you have knowledge in that area with regards to uh, the, the 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 whether it's the Old Testament, New Testament, what have you? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, go ahead. Well, I do. I don't want to go too far in regards of that topic. Go far, they really, Chris. Go far. Uh, yes, let's we, go. We, we, we go in thank there. You. We go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank let's you. Let's go. Okay, let, let's do it. Okay, <laughs> there's a man named William Brenham. Branham. Whoever the heck that guy seriously has hustled since 1960 something, but he recorded the doctrine in 1978, February 5th, along with Raymond Jackson. Now, they hustled the ever-loving heck out of these black people, convincing them that they were the curse of Ham, they were the descendants of Ham, even though in reality, the Hebrews and, you know, the Judaic, Judaic people, they really don't subscribe to the point where, okay, it doesn't say there's a color, but we're going to attach a color. They know good and gosh darn well. They can't even say it out loud. Like, okay, no, let's look in the book. Okay, well, the book doesn't say a color, but there's certain descriptions. It's like, what's those descriptions? Okay, we can't tell you that right now. Well, then when you go look for yourself, you find out, well, there's no description, and that description actually fits you more than me. And that's number one. Can I get to number two, or am I doing too much? Well, um, you know, we can go back hundreds of years, not just uh, the yes, 60s sir. and sixties and the 70s. The curse. 1978, February 5th, to yeah, be specific. Yeah, 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 even yeah. though it was before that, yeah, he yeah. started that game way before. I, I, I yeah, we can go back even yeah. further with, with regards to whether it's uh, symbolic in nature, whether you find it to be literal. I don't know your 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 faith, per se. I know you called in yesterday, and you, you and David had a healthy exchange. Let me ask okay. you again, okay. in your opinion, just give me what you think. Never mind somebody else. Are black people cursed in the Bible? You, Chris. Absolutely not. Okay. If you ask me, I'm asking cursed you. people do not have their culture, their micro expressions, their mini body movements. They do not have those replicated all over the earth. Everyone who is struggling, their default way of dressing and talking has something, something to do with this miscellaneous group of melanated people that lay in, quote unquote, America, not South America, not just North America, the United States of America. Let's be, we're American. Let's not play that game. We are American. They are, they follow us. They are talking about us. Now, when it comes to the curse of Ham, they try to apply that to black people because they see the power. 
That has nothing to do with us. Whether you talk to your actual Israeli friend, I don't have a necessarily Jewish friend per se, because things have separated lately, but I do have an Israeli friend. Don't play with me. That is Jewish. I also have an Arab friend. So let's not, I don't play games. I don't do things. No, I have friends in both categories. I'll just stop right there. Okay. All right. The Chris- H- hang on a second, um, Chris. Sit tight. Um, I- David, any response uh, to what Chris has said? Or- well, I just want to say first, uh, Chris has an unfair advantage because he has such a, a deeper voice than me. He sounds very strong over the... <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been called a bussy tonight, so <laughs> what? I'm in my feelings. <laughs> I'm acting light skinned tonight. <laughs> I'm still recovering. <laughs> Sounds okay. like uh yeah, no, any response with regards to what he, he just said. Let's yeah, I agree with him because Dr. James Small said that the African American is the most culturally enforced black male man on the planet. So you're you're saying pure facts, uh, bar none. Everyone copies African American culture. So we see that even in the the lingo franco, the way people talk, the the colloquialisms, the slang that's used, it's it's hit the corporate world. So everyone says my bad. Everyone says yo. Everyone says even the term Karen. It's hilarious. That was a, a derogatory term that people of color used for white people. And now white people have adopted it. White people call each other Karens. Yeah, yeah. So that's a testament Absolutely. to the the, influ- the influence of black people. Even when they use derogatory terms, it's still catchy and picks mm-hmm. up. You know, when, yeah. when, when black people get so the, the stickers on they the It's sharp yeah. and well-learned. I don't care. I like that guy. I don't care. Now, we disagree, but. Not even that like much, it. really. We don't even disagree that much, to be honest. Because it was just two different. Yeah, honestly, no. It, uh, it's just certain things where you like, guys are playing nice tonight, and I'm I'm getting a little nauseous. I don't I don't really want to hear all this uh, all this fucking sweet. Oh no, I you, sweet tooth shit. Where's the smoke? smoke? We need the <laughs> smoke. <laughs> Stop me from cutting his head off, and then you say we're well, playing. I'm, I'm not stopping you from doing nothing. I say you can go wherever you want to go. Yeah. Okay, so so hold on a second, David. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back to you, Chris, because I'm I'm backed up on calls here. Are black people cursed in okay. the Bible? Okay, so uh, surely you can't deny that the programming for hundreds and hundreds of years has indeed made people to believe that they were cursed. Yes, and and uh, had them accept absolutely certain, accept certain positions in absolutely. life and still being under the absolutely. the mind control. Can you speak to that? The first thing that I want want to say to that, and thank you for giving me the floor. I. <laughs> To be honest, let's go ahead and put it on the table. There's truly this thing of they want black people to be in that corner. And we're going to get rough. And I'm going to try my best to avoid every single last hot word. Even in their bickering that's currently going on, there's a certain person with another certain person that will say literally their cousins Even though they're blowing each other up, they will admit they're cousins. They are in a a struggle, let's say that, that is well known about over the entire globe. They will admit they are cousins. Can you give us the names? I don't know why you're withholding the names. Who are we talking about? Jacob and Esau. We're talking about the Arabs and the small hats. Okay. Okay. So they will admit Hey, one of those brothers, the three brothers that was mentioned earlier that found the father naked. Mm. Okay, one is so-called small hat, one is so-called Arab, and one is so-called African, or however you want to claim to be that the heavier melanated one. Yeah. So it goes lighter yeah. to middle to darker. And they're claiming that the darker is cursed for eternity for finding his father naked? Hang on a second. Um, Chris, uh, Jell sends in a comment. He says, this Bible Negro is a friggin' snake. Uh, I'm not sure what he means by that, but he also... Okay, he said... Do, do you want to uh, talk to him, Jell? Okay. Jell, if you want to call... Great. Jell, if you want to tap back in, um, I'll bring you back on the line. 
Okay, listen, Chris, uh, since you guys are on the same page tonight, I'm going to thank you for calling in. Uh, in the future, man, you Oh, have... we're not on the same page. Well, okay, well you, you, you both say, well, okay. you both uh, say that the black, uh, black people are not cursed. But, but hang on a second. Hang on. Stay in touch via email. And if you call in to talk religion, you have to say, hey, I'm so-and-so, and I'm on the line. Otherwise, I don't know the, these, phone, these phone numbers. I'll be honest with you, okay? Well, I, sir, thank you, thank you, thank you. Could I possibly mention the connection between the the small hats, the Arabs, and the blacks? Yeah, yeah, sure. Can you do it in 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now, one really crazy thing about that whole thing is how do you accept them as being your cousins? But you took my culture, my word, my body movements, how I blink, how I move, how I breathe, my vocal cadence. You've taken that all over the world, but you didn't put my name on it. So no one knows it belongs to me. They think it belongs to America. So how in the everlasting heck could you possibly say that they're your cousins in the bad way you say, oh, I'm your cousin. We're related. But you give me num none of that same cousinly feeling, yet I haven't thrown any bombs at you. So how can I not be your cousin if I haven't bombed you okay. when you already say we're related? I, uh, I have to go, Chris. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, okay. hmm. oh, he, he sounds a little, a little extra tonight. I mean, yet, yet last night he was... <laughs> Going to harden the paint. Yeah, maybe maybe he felt sorry for me tonight. He eased up a bit on me. S sound like that powder. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday night. <laughs> Hold, on, Hold on a second, guys. Uh, okay, guys, we're gonna finish up the discussion of black people, Chris, in the Bible with Dave because I want to get to uh, other people chiming in, tapping in, um, and let me make sure I'm promoting my sponsors. Okay. Sit tight on the phones. All right. Um, dub, dub, dub. <clears throat> Guru Business Center .com, Okay. This is a great platform to go to if you need any type of advice or consultation with regards to LLCs, 501c3s, uh, planning, uh, profit and loss statements. This is a great platform. Make sure you tell that that young young woman I sent you. Okay. David, sit tight. Let's bring in a few more calls here. Um, area code 213. Good evening. Are you there? 213. Hey, what's up, Star King? I can hear you, sir. How are you? I'm, I'm all right. How are you guys doing? Hey, I, I do want to comment. Yeah, your phone sounds really choppy. Your phone sounds choppy. Can you make the adjustments? I don't know what's going on here. All right. How about right now? A little better. Go ahead. A little better. All right, I just want to say I do believe that we are indeed um, black people are cursed. You know, uh, if you want to go back to the Bible days, I'm not that that versed in all of the, the scripture and all that, but just judging off of what I see. Sir, your phone is going in and out, in and out, in and out. Can you can you call back? It just I don't know what it is. Maybe the microphone, the headset. Call back. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He thinks black people are a curse. Damn. Well, hey, I'm, I appreciate the call. Area code 951, good evening. Talking about a few topics. Saturday night, late night. 951, yes, no, maybe? Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, how you doing, Star? I'm great. I'm great. What do you want to start? I was calling about your uh, show, Are Black People Cursed? from In the Bible. Mm -hmm. it, it never said what color that uh, a person could be cursed from. It could have been cursed to be white. There we go. They are the one, white people is the one with uh, cave dwellers. Hmm. Do you know this story that we're, we're referencing? Yes, I do. Okay. And I, I know that, that Jews and Arabs are both the same family. As far as Abraham goes. How did things get so misconstrued for hundreds of years? How was the the, the curse or the story of because the curse? Hang, hang, hang on. How did the story of, of Ham and Canaan get uh, implemented and programmed into the minds of black people, leading them to believe that they were cursed and that slave, that, that there were uh, uh, rules on how to treat your slave? 
How do all that? First of all, I think that over here in America, we got it because of slavery. And we, everything was that was wrong had to do with black people in the Bible. But as far as uh, Abraham having Hagar as a concubine, she was feeling like that she was more than his wife. So God said, told Abraham to send her away. He would give him a son. His wife laughed and thought that this couldn't be true. I'm too old. It's no way I can have a son. But God did give her a son, and God gave him the birthright. So this is where all of this turmoil is, because the Arab that was sent away, which was Hagar and her child, they feel like that since that's his firstborn, that he should have the birthright. And then the Jews feel like, well, he wasn't given the birthright because he wasn't born within the marriage between Abraham and his wife. Now, if I'm wrong, I don't know. I'm not a. Bu- H- hang on a second, baby. D- David, can you respond? Oh, to her? Hang, hang on, baby. Baby, hold on a second. David, can you respond to her? I'm trying to fix my printer. David, jump in there. Yeah, you're. Please. Yeah, you're. You're on the right track. You're piecing it up well because you mentioned Hagar, and that's an important piece to the puzzle because she was the Egyptian uh, uh, handmaid or maiden servant to Abraham. So that that's correct. Hagar is a part of this uh, very much as well. But um, another interesting thing to note, uh, Abraham came from a city called Ur, and Ur is in Iraq, and that was ancient Babylon. So if you're familiar, um, do you know uh, Nimrod? Nimrod was a Babylonian king, but he was also the son of Cush, and Cush is Ethiopia. So when you do a deep dive, it's very interesting because that um, if yeah, so, so wasn't the Cushites? Yeah. Wasn't the Cushites black people? Most definitely, uh definitely hundred percent. So it's interesting when you when you really dig in deep and you unravel because because we're so quick to say, yeah, Hagar was Egyptian, so we credit her with being the African and black, but what was Abraham? Because he was from what would be Babylon. So if Nimrod is the son of Cush, and Cush is Ethiopia. How could Nimrod be the Babylonian king? That's Iraq. So what does that tell you about where Abraham, the region that he was from? They were all, (laughs) Babylon is Cush. All right, baby, I'm going to give you the last word, and I also want to ask you a question before you go. You have the floor. Are Are you there? Okay, baby. Yes I, yes, I am. I was just listening to what he had to say. I was just uh, agree, agree, seeing was I right because I thought that Abraham was a Cushite. Because we're connecting the dots uh, based on the information that we're given. So we're on the right track. That's for sure. We're, we're definitely in the right direction. So. D- Darling, I want to thank you for your call. But now um, uh, someone sent in a comment with regards to um, uh, black men. Uh, are they cowards? Are they pussy? Why won't they crash out for the black woman and, and, and get, get to bust some white people upside the head and, and go down to the Capitol and just start ripping shots at her Glocks? Is the black man a coward? Baby, you got to pick up the pace. But what are you doing? You know what? Stop. I was just trying to let. I'm sorry, Star. I was trying to let you talk. No. You know, and give I'm done talking. Can you, know can you answer you the question? No, no. Can anyway, you answer the question, please. Yes, I, I I do think that black men should go ahead on and take care of their black women. A lot of them are they cowards, baby? The question is, are they cowards? Yeah, a lot of them are cowards. Come on. Yes, they are. A lot of them are cowards, but a lot of them aren't. And I think it has to do with how you were raised. I think it has to do with was there a man showing you what to do for a woman? Okay. And and then another thing is this, and I know I'm going to get flack about it, but it's too many men that want to be girls. Okay. All right. 
Thank you for the call, darling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Jeez, she's on some type of delayed reaction. <laughs> when she brought up the white stuff, I thought she was going to mention um, all the references in the Bible of people. Uh, it, 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 I, I'm, I'm past that. David, great to talk to you, man. Um, uh, did you comment under your um, uh, post in the community section for your new book? Leave a, a long comment. Tell people to come to your page, man. Yeah. Yeah. But just add one more thing uh, to the conversation. Since we're since people want to bring up color all the time, no one mentioned Miriam, Moses's sister, yeah. who was cursed to be to turn leprous white as snow. So I just, hang on a second. Hang on a second. What's your schedule next week? Either Tuesday or Wednesday to get you back on the show. Uh, I'm free Tuesday and Wednesday, as a matter of right. fact. Yeah. Tuesday or Wednesday. Let's have another conversation like this and the question will be is jesus a fictional character don't answer now don't answer now <laughs> start doing your research <laughs> is jesus a fictional character tuesday or wednesday on the star report okay we'll do, we'll do that up thank you david good to talk to you thank you yeah always a pleasure appreciate okay. the platform thank you all so right. much Oops. have a great night thank you star david tapping in all right Guys, I don't know what the fuck happened to my printer. Jesus Christ. Back to my main topic, the rise and fall of Fresh and Fit Podcast. In my community section is the audio. Fresh <laughs> getting spoken to like he's a stepchild by his soon-to-be baby mama. I can only assume this is real. Buying her $30,000 lavish gifts. He's been smashing for a month, according to her. Bust, busted off inside the coochie. Raw. She says she's pregnant. Now, he would know if, if he didn't, you know, release inside of her, right? So whether she is or she isn't, uh, is he now being exposed? That's my question. Okay. Um... Jell, thank you so much for tapping in. I'm, I'm going to bring someone else in here in a second. Uh, let me get you ready in the queue. 702, sit tight. You're up next. Okay. Um, JL, I got your other donation. Uh, why David not deny theft, T-H-E-F, bussy gospel he subscribes to? Okay, okay. <laughs> Mike says uh, money can't turn... Oh. Can't unlame a lame, both fresh and fit. Okay. And Blade, thank you, Blade. I got your donation. Let's go to area code 702. Good evening. Saturday night, late night edition. What's up, son? How are you, sir? Yeah. Are, are we on uh, the black curse or this fresh and fit? Well, sir, so we're, we're on real nigga time. Do you need to curse if you're black and you say, Star, I can't speak without using profanity? <laughs> go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I, yeah, I just want to say, no, nah, I do think um, black people are cursed, you know, uh, especially in these modern times. When you just, I mean, you look at everything, uh, anywhere in the world is usually the dark people that's on the bottom. No political power, no financial uh, power. Yeah, you have a few people who made it to the top, but that's just like a very, very any percent but um for the for the most part you know we don't have control uh like we uh, of as many things as we should especially in america you know you look look at the jails those is mostly us even if you say okay a lot of us can be in there wrongfully uh punished or overly sentenced and things like that but we figured out the system we, we keep getting outsmarted we keep getting uh, just outperformed and out dominated uh, in almost every sector except sports and entertainment. Yeah. Like the only two things that we really excel at. But me personally, I'm I'm sick and tired of singing and dancing, niggas. I'm just I'm tired of it. I hear you. I hear you. We need more engineers and scientists and things like that and entrepreneurs. But even in the even in the um you know, the sports and entertainment field, we don't 
get the majority of the fit from that. You know, is 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 the black the blacks don't get the top the profit from it. and then oh other group of people let me ask you a question sir you sound like a knowledgeable man and um you know i'm gonna give you the last word you know this um white supremacy is a reality yes racism is alive yeah. and well that's a that's a whole fact but now can can the quote unquote um, um black man or i mean and and race is a social construct but can the melanated man rise up you know, and 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 do do better. You know, do for self, so to speak. Or or has has it become something totally different? And we're about to see a new type of so-called Negro. Can you speak to that? Yes, this is something that I've thought about and deeply for a long time. Okay. And I was hoping we would be able to rise up. I mean, we've had some great. Um, messing throughout history who have given us the blueprint to how to do that but just can't get on the same page yeah. you know we like we just won't get on the same page it doesn't take much for us to divide it you know every time we we it looks like we're making some progress something happens and it makes us start going at each other you can even see that on social media you know we can never really stay on code and, and stick together yeah. so i don't know I, I pray i hope that we can one day rise above and just start outperforming everybody and everything else in every kind of sector okay but it doesn't look like it all right it i appreciate the call man thank you for your support and have, right. have a good weekend easy. what's left of it thank you yeah. star report back in the building all right thank you for your patience i want us to continue the conversation the rise and fall of Fresh and Fit podcast. I take no pride in this um, this episode this evening. Uh, if you're new to the show, please know that I do not, you know, go at other content creators. I like these guys, Fresh and Fit. However, <laughs> the G code has been has been uh, violated. Fresh has been exposed, and, and I can't, I can't believe that this was staged <laughs> i just can't believe it there's all sorts of um text messages and audio from uh her hold on a second i forget her name um deeds are you out there are you busy what is uh, his alleged girlfriend's name is it something chen can anybody send me her ig page she's saying that um her page was attacked taken down was it because she was speaking her her truth jesus mary and joseph um area code 215 sit tight you will be my next caller someone sends it a donation niggas think they've hit the lottery uh when they get with these exotic and allegedly submissive asians anyone that's former military can tell you about south korean uh, and how they, uh, ooh, prostit how prostitutes ignore white guys and throw themselves at niggas because niggas are the fastest ticket to a green card. Mm. Mm. Jell also says, um, uh, do, 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 rats jumping ships in cell savior. Okay. Hey, LaTanya, I got your donation. Hang on a second. Uh, I, I want a black woman to call in, and I'm not sure if she's going to regulate, but uh, uh, LaTanya, are you there? Good evening, darling. Thank you for your support. Hey, Star. How are you? How you doing? I'm great. Uh, where do you want to chime in? I'm kind of all over the place. It's Saturday. I'm sipping. Where do you want to uh, start? <laughs> I see you. I just wanted to touch on uh, about black people being cursed. Okay. Um, I, I really... I really feel sad that, you know, so many people feel that way because they're not willing to take the opportunity to, you know, go a step beyond and listen to what the word actually has to say. Okay. But um, um, the young lady that called in and David were touching on some very interesting topics. Right. Especially with um, going back to Hagar with Ishmael and Isaac, um, so one following Islam and one following Christianity. The divide was then. Um. But, you know, as far as God gave blessings 
as well as Tersus. And I just want people to understand when you read, even with Sarah being uh, putting Hagar in front to have a child because she thought she was too old, okay. he still blessed her with a child and he got, he reaped the blessings. And um, that was just one example. Even with, um, back, we take it back to Adam and Eve, even with that whole situation, it was still blessings afterwards. So I just want everyone to not feel like because of what the, you know, uh, white man or whoever, you know, when slavery came along and just the the sad um, things that people teach us mm -hmm. to think that we're not chosen. Right. And and even down to uh, Abraham having another uh, child, child, child by Keturah, she was Egyptian, you know, she was black. She, you know, and a lot of blessings came out of those nations. Even if you go back to the lineage of Jesus, it was blessings he was spoke of back in the Old Testament. I just wanted to chime in on that and just, um, you know, let people know that we are taught to think that we are cursed. We are taught to think that we're nothing. And but if you really look back, you'll see a lot of blessings with black people. We're not even, you know, they don't even want to. If I can jump in, black. if I can jump in and I appreciate your knowledge and uh, you're absolutely sure. right. You're absolutely right. But uh, so many people don't look back. They don't understand blessings anointings and i'm a non-believer and i'm speaking about these things I know. you know but um i i don't say things to troll people or to be a, a, a disrespectful you know my mother's a believer and i i i i respect her you know um, um beliefs but um there's other things oh. with regards to um the propaganda the propaganda right. that has done a mind job on people you know and it, and and uh, we have a certain reality that we live with here in America, a beautiful place that is that it is. I'm a capitalist. However, however, you know the the whether they go back as you said or ha have uh, just a little bit of knowledge and just a tiny bit, mm -hmm. are they conditioned? The program are are they conditioned to accept a certain reality? And that's true. That's what it is. Their condition. It's it's been long, long time, you know, con of conditioning and um, thinking of, and and it, and it's and it's so sad because even um school that I'm at, I'm in a melting pot. It's different races, different um, I'm with uh, Ukrainian, Russians hating each other. I'm with Arabs. I'm with people from Palestine. I'm I'm with different people, and I watch how they hate. Even they hate each other. We're we're taught to think that it's just a white and black thing, right. but it's beyond. At. And um, I sometimes feel like I was put there to be the, the mediator. You know, I can I talk to different different people. I, I learn some just a tad bit of their languages and I talk to them. And it's just like the amount of love that is shown to me. Mm -hmm. And they're taught when they come over here to run from me because I'm black, you know. So it's just so funny how, like you said, the propaganda of it all, mm -hmm. you know, is it's, it's, it's a taught thing. And uh, we as a people... Like you say, um, or her black men, you know, like we, it, it's sad. They're punk. Like they don't, they, it, step up, step up and, mm. and just do something different than what. I'm, I'm you, so, I'm so glad you went in that direction. I, I didn't want to throw that yeah. at you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hang, hang on now. Hang on now. It, it, <laughs> it is the black man a coward? Why doesn't he crash out for the black woman? All that hate towards black yeah. women and. All that laughing Absolutely. and all that, all that extra carrying on. Is a black man a coward? Lack of knowledge, mm. definitely. Lack of knowledge. Educate yourself, and you will see just how powerful you can be. You can have, of course, we're we're taught that we use what we got to get what we want as women, but and then we can control the narrative. However, a man, a good man with a, you know, good, you know what could have anything he wants from a woman. A woman will bow down and do whatever he wants if he is treating her right, he's treating her right. But she's not going to stray. If that's what, if he's doing what he's supposed to do mm -hmm. and he step up, it's amazing how that outcome can be. Yeah. And, and, it, and you know, it's just, a, it's just so sad that we are, we were divided so long ago and it's just continuing to go on and on and on. But we have the power to take it, but only we can do it. If we just know how powerful we are, I'm gonna jump in because you're speaking a lot of French, we oui, we, oui, and I don't, I don't, you know, um, subscribe to uh -huh. to tribalism. But I, uh -huh. I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Um, yeah. 
so so yeah the the propaganda i think we we're in agreement on that um but now with regards to the quote unquote curse and and i'm kind of moving away from this question because we spent a lot of time on it um yeah is there can there be a turnaround or or will we not see it in our time maybe a hundred years from now 260 years from now you know the the, the, the quote-unquote melanated people will have a better positioning. What do you think? In uh, America? Absolutely. I'm so glad you went there. That was where I was going to finish at. Okay. I really believe that we won't see it here. I really believe that according to the word, we will see it. And that's what God, you know, Jesus was sent here to promise us the afterlife. Hmm. And I think the blessing will come after. I think that this is the hell that we're going through right now. And we have to trust and ha walk by faith to maintain through it. But I truly believe that the blessing will come after. And, um, you know, you can you can choose to live comfortably through it and, you know, as for your footsteps to be guided through all the, the mayhem and things that's going on around you. But I truly don't believe that we're, I mean, come on. You're talking eclipse. You're talking uh, uh, earthquakes, floods, rain, three and four days. It's, a, it's really a lot going on right now. And I just think people need to just open their minds. So... I don't think so. I don't really, I don't think that it will turn around here. I really don't. I just think that we're going to go through it and you have to maintain and go through it the best way you can. But afterwards, okay. Okay. I think according to the promise, that's when you'll see the blessing. Um, but I really if, I if you, you for this topic. If you don't mind, stay in touch because um, David is one of my sponsors, but I also enjoy talking to him. He's got a lot, lot of knowledge. Um, if you don't mind, stay in touch. Mm -hmm. I would love to have a female chime in next week um Absolutely. with regards to an it's upcoming a show uh, upcoming show um is jesus a fictional character yeah that was awesome when you don't said answer that, now when you don't, don't, don't answer now don't answer now but yeah no i just was saying when you said that i got chills i said <laughs> stars on the money this well, is the time and now talk well, about this hang on hang on hang on because then <laughs> over the years i've said i do believe Jesus existed. And I say that not to cause arguments with people. But um Absolutely. however, however, this Wednesday we, we're gonna really hash it out. I don't believe Jesus ever walked the earth. Right, right, right. I remember I remember um what you were saying and and, and even when, and when don't you don't answer it now. Don't answer it I'm now. Not, I'm not next week. <laughs> next week. Yeah, I got you. Is Jesus Yeah, I want to see if it's gonna be Tuesday or Wednesday. Fictional cash. Stay in touch via email, okay? Gotcha. Will thank, do. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Right. To be respectful, I have said, you know, yeah, yeah, Jesus walked up. Sure, sure, sure. The carpenter from Nazareth, you know. <laughs> the greatest lie ever told. Next week. Um, guys, on the screen, link tr.ee forward slash learn creole it's one of my sponsors okay please go there for merch education um and things that uh i think that you will find hold on a second let me get that banner uh ready to go i think things that you will find if you are of haitian descent that are very useful okay here's the banner right now and a little bit of history for those who care. Anybody know who the first culturally proud Haitian rapper was in hip hop? It wasn't Wyclef. Wyclef is a great guy. It wasn't Praz. Anybody know? Put some respect on that man's name. He was a good guy. We used to hang out. I've been to his home back when he lived in the Poconos. Give us a second. <laughs> no, no, come on. Somebody's got to say his name. Select records. Kangol Kid, huh? The first. Yep. Okay. Um, coming back to the phone. Sit tight, sit tight. Uh, Skylar Saunders, I see you, sir. Mm. And, and Jell. Je Jell, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Jell, I don't like for um um you know donators to go at other 
callers, but uh, thank you, Jell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dominique, I got your donation. Uh, uh, is this my alleged daughter, Dominique? 504, is that you, Dominique? Saturday night. Hey, 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 stop. Okay, you're using Dominique's uh, account. Thank you for your, your donation, sir. How are you? No, no, I'm not using Dominique's account. So this is it's a caller from uh, last night. I'm from New Orleans. We like to print it up down there. So. Okay. <laughs> but this is your donation, or if I got the wrong 504? I thought that was... No, no, that, that is me, so I did okay. the, the, the 10 spot. Gotcha. Yeah, How are yeah, you, man? Sir. Yeah, yeah, you sir. have the floor. You have the floor. Okay, well, I uh, thank you for the subject matter tonight, so, uh, uh I would like to say, uh, speaking on the... Uh, first, our foundational Black Americans have to start using the correct language as far as dealing with uh, the laws of this country, okay. you know, um, the whole is that we don't understand Geneva law, you know, the crack is just about done in this country. So now he's gained allies all over the world. You know what I'm saying? So, so we can't look at it as just, oh, we are uh, 60, 70 years ago. Oh, we shall overcome the white man in America. I feel as though. Well, sir, I'm half cracker. Uh, and you said the crack is done. I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Well, no, no, no. I'm talking about as far as the culture of crackerism in America is on the decline. So what the powers that be. Was I disagree, but go ahead. Uh, I disagree. Go ahead. Okay. But, but this, is, this is what I'm saying. Okay. In order to combat their fall because of uh, low birth rate. And things of that nature, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, so they will put certain figures to show all over the world uh, uh, so certain artists like a section red and say, okay, you know what? Mm. This is the Black American. This is what they're showing the people in China, India, Africa. They're showing this. This is the Black American. So they don't deserve. Any help when we start to slaughter them in the streets. So, this is how I feel. And, uh, yeah, I've been... Uh, stay with me. Stay with me. I appreciate the call. I'm, 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 stay, I'm with stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm speaking my mind. Okay, okay. No, I, I, okay. I appreciate you. Stay with me. Um, white genetic survival is a reality, you know. Um, but now the, as, as you put it, the cracker, the cracker mindset will always be capitalism. <laughs> Let's not get it twisted, okay? Uh, you, have a lot, you have a lot of people coming here. <laughs> the the illegals, undocumented. Right. They're now being called migrants, yeah. okay? They are going to become, uh, well, they're babies, and, and them, for the most part, are going to become capitalists. So so yeah. if, I, uh, if I assume you are a, well, you said foundational black American, yes? Yes, so I, I, I am a foundational black okay, American. Okay. So you're going to have to fight for this thing, sir, called America. You're going to have to fight oh, oh, for oh, it. No, no doubt about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to fight. for. You're not just going to be fighting uh, uh, the phenotypically Caucasian. You're going to have to fight the migrant, the Asian, and the Hispanic. You're going to have to fight oh, for sir, it. Oh, be, yeah. They, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sir, they're, they're being told before they get here, hey, you watch that black America. And most of them don't know the difference between the black Americans. They don't speak, a lot of the Venezuelans don't speak one single bit of English. You know what I'm saying? I'm meeting them every day, so I work in the construction industry. And I hear you. Okay, okay. I never seen so many Venezuelans that were, you know, mm -hmm. the Mexicans, Guatemalans. You know, they'll come over, you know, 15, 16 year olds. And yeah. this is why we're in the state we're in. This is how white supremacy works, though. So. In the, in the labor force. Whenever black folks start to unionize, come together, try to uh, get better pay, you know what they do? They say, okay, next. You stay at home. Jose, Pedro, y'all come on in there and y'all make this $10 an hour and a bowl of rice and be satisfied. So that's why the, the unions are bust up. Uh, it, it's hard for uh, a brother to get in. Now, if you don't speak Spanish, Man, you damn near no good on the job side. Right, right, right. Okay. 
so I'm meeting them every day. Stay with me. I'm going to let you finish up. I appreciate your support. Um, uh, but but to go back for a second with regards to uh, you say you you you're in construction. Are you a quote unquote business owner or are you a a day laborer? No no no. I'm not I'm not a day laborer. So but yeah, I have a. Uh, I have my own uh, LLC, but okay, okay. I'm, big, I'm not a big contractor where, you know, but I got a couple guys I can call and we can get some shit done. <laughs> well, listen, man, I appreciate the patience. Thank you for the donation, man. And salute for tapping in on a late, late Saturday, man. Salute, salute, yes, stop. salute, stop. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Bone doing work. Uh, check your email. I think I sent you the link. Hold on a second. Was my nigga, but yeah, yeah, bone doing work. Uh, check your email, man. That's that's my uh Puerto Rican correspondent. <laughs> I'm getting them in shape. <laughs> had a, oh, we had them scrambling yesterday, didn't we? Uh, is it hey, Nana, got your donation, or is it Nana? I'm gonna say Nana, Nana, thank you so much for your support. Okay, uh, bone doing work, check your email. Skylar Saunders, are you tapping in, sir? Well, where is Florida Boy J? Hold on. I guess he's busy. And, and why am I getting so much goddamn spam uh, via Instagram? I, I don't. I don't even. Let me get back to that later. All right, guys. Uh, also, thank you for your donation, uh, Spanky Big Head. Okay. White genetic survival is their plan. They always have a plan. Yeah, they got a plan. Yeah. Do black folk have a plan? Hold on a second. Uh, guys, on the screen is the uh, the email address if you want to cam up late night, okay? I'm looking for um, area code 646. Good evening. Are you there? Late night, a few topics. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yes, you hear me? Sir. yes, sir. How are you? It's cracking. Yeah, I don't even. You got so many topics going on today. I don't even know what's going to attack you first, man. All of them interesting. Um, okay. Good. <laughs> well, I tell you, how about we start with uh, fresh and fit? That that's the main topic. We're kind of past the other topics, but um, are you a, a fan of theirs? A supporter? Do you know what's going on with uh, fresh? Uh, uh, nah, I really, I really oh. don't know what's going on with them. Okay. I, I heard you say something over a female, and oh, then you man. actually is by. Yeah. Five black men afraid to fight for women. Well, it, it was just a question. I don't think we. I don't, it's just a question because, um, um, you know, yesterday I did a show. I spoke about a documentary which I enjoyed, and I, yeah, I don't think that uh, there's enough attention by where the dominant society when black females or children go missing. But at the same time, I think that black people need to stand up and be a little bit more. Uh, have more effort with regards to social media. There's too much tea. Everybody wants to do fucking tea and gossip. Ha, 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 he, he, he. And the response was very weak. But then someone sent in a comment saying that black men are cowards. That's why they don't care. And it was a very well-crafted um, comment. You want to start there? I would have to agree then, mm. based on everything that you told me. And, and, and that, type of, that type of thing going on all the time. Um, yeah, we, and, and I'm, I'm black. So yeah, um, as a, as a, as a race, man, we don't stand for nothing, bro. Mm. It's sad. Man. It's sad. We don't own anything. And I, and I kind of like, bro, we don't stand for nothing, man. Nothing, mm. bro. It's like, and then the moment I, I, I remember one time I was, I was busy Um, I was blaming the situation I got into on, on somebody. And the old head heard me talking. I was talking to my peers, but he heard me talking. And he was like, yo, young boy, do me a favor, point at me. And I pointed at him. And he was like, now look at your hand. That's all he had to say to me, right? So I noticed any time you point the blame, it's three fingers pointing back at you. So it's always three times your fault, right? Okay. Meaning whatever, whatever predicament we in right now, it's our fault. Point blank, okay. period. And until we decide to get up and do something about it, rather than complaining about it and pointing and saying the white man is and the white man that, cool, we know what they did, we know what they're doing, we know they're liars, we know they're thieves, we know they're conquerors, but what are we going to do about it? 
And right now, we don't, yeah. niggas don't even want to have that conversation. Mm. <laughs> and the moment you play- Is the black man more of a pussy than the Puerto Rican? Because the Puerto Rican will go down to his girl's job, stab her boss, stab her coworkers, and stab her if, if she uh, gets violated or disrespected. Do you know that? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of insane, though. No? <laughs> I've known Puerto Rican niggas over the decades that crash out. They don't have to get up on social media and say, yo, <laughs> what do y'all think? Should I crash out? They just mm, get the stat. <laughs> <laughs> niggas start walling. Got time to go live. <laughs> they don't got time to go live. They're about to end this bitch live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the call, man. You had the last word. Go ahead. All right, all right. Be easy, be easy. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Florida boy Jay's busy. He's he's doing things. Oh, speaking of Puerto Ricans, a Puerto Rico. Oh, a Puerto what's Rico. What's good? What's good? What's good? Oh. What's good? Chilling, man. Chilling. Came to talk about fresh and fit, getting exposed. Well, now hang on a second. You you you're consistent. I appreciate that, man. Maybe I can get you to be some type of a, a Puerto Rican uh, correspondent. Now I throw you curveballs from time to time, and um, I, I was asking you yesterday about uh, uh, Puerto Rican astronauts, and you you couldn't produce one, but there is one. I found out out too. I found that out too after the fact. Yeah, there is one. We got one. We everywhere. We in the MLB, <laughs> NFL, NBA. Well, we hang on, everywhere. hang on, hang on. Listen, I mean, you know, I, I'm with the bullshit. So you know, hear me. But at the same time, you gotta have a laptop with you, man, because there is a there is a Puerto Rican astronaut from Puerto Rico. Do you know his name? I don't know his name, but I saw that there was one. I don't know his well, name. Where's your though. laptop? Which laptop? I usually use my phone, but I threw it somewhere. I don't even know where it's at. Do you have a oh. tablet? What, what's going on? Nah, I usually use another iPhone. I got two iPhones, and I usually just use oh, the other on. one. I, I got time. Find the Puerto Rican. <laughs> let, hey, let me see where it's at. What the fuck? I'm, I'm trying to educate you. Here we go. Here we go. You, it wasn't far. It wasn't far. I just, it just well, wasn't you didn't know. Way. Don't act like you knew. You didn't know. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. <laughs> right. All right, let's see. Uh, Puerto Rican astronaut. Give me a second, folks. I do charity work for the Hispanics. Yeah. Joseph Acaba. And there's actually two of them, actually. Marcos Barrios. There you go. What is he, 38 years of age? How old is he, 40? He, he looks young. Let me type him in specifically. Age. 37. 37. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. We, we're out here doing things. Well, well listen, but bookmark the page so that when I'm <laughs> talking, you. you know, you can have an understanding and because I'm going to throw your curveballs. Now, here's another uh, quote-unquote uh, 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 I don't want to say homework assignment, but um, the classic film, West Side Story, the original. Do you know what year that came out and how many Academy Awards it won? I think it came out around 67, if I had a guess, around there. Google it. All right. I actually, Maria, uh, I've in just grade school, named Maria, I sing songs. I'll never <laughs> be the same. Rita Moreno was in that film. Now, she wasn't the lead they had Natalie Natalie uh, Wood, who played the lead, and she wasn't Puerto Rican, but she played a Puerto Rican. That's 1961. The film came out. Eleven Academy Awards. I'm, I'm I forget how many. Um, Academy Awards. Ten. Ten Academy like... Awards. Sure. Uh, that's what uh, is popping up. The first thing that popped up. Okay. 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 All right. Nominated um, for 11. Nominated that, for 11. It says nominated for 11, though. Nominated. I mean, that's where you got the. Okay. Yeah. Puerto Rico. Oh. All right. So um, what are we talking about? The fresh and fit, man. Oh, is, is, is fresh? Is he out of here? Did you hear the audio? What's going on? Yeah. Um, I'm actually, uh, I think that he's not out of here. I think, to be honest, that's just something that happens to the best of them. Mm. I think we've all been there. I think if you're out here smashing enough broads, you're going to have that one that's trying to get a baby out of you. 
I actually called in here like two years ago and gave a story about how the girl I was smashing had got pregnant on me and the whole chat and you literally, you were like, you, you said, take care of that kid and you hung up the phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like the girl apparently ended up having a quote unquote miscarriage after the fact. I never ended up being becoming a father, but I know from experience that these girls like to lie and put babies on you. So I think that's what's going you didn't on. You assist with her having a miscarriage. Yeah, you didn't, you know. No. Well, I mean, maybe emotionally. Oh, okay. Maybe emotionally You're because, stressed. like, yeah, because I like this girl. I had met her on like it was probably like my second time meeting her, and we did the we did our business, mm. and like um. And you smashed raw. I'm a. I was a there. I was a. I was a young guy, man. I've learned yeah. since then. I've learned. Come on, come on. But yeah, so. Yeah, fresh. If anything, that that makes him seem more real to me because I saw him kicking it with the baddie that exposed him, and I was thinking to myself, like, man, is he really even smashing this girl? So if anything, she just validated him more than me. Hmm. Now I'm like, damn, he out here smashing dimes, and she want his baby. Well, I'm I'm not gonna critique her looks. You know, she she's she's uh, an exhibitionist. Clearly, you know, she's on Instagram. Uh... It, would you say she's a 304? She definitely seems like a, the typical girl that's going to go for the guy with the most money. I don't know if she's out here, like, smashing multiple guys. But if you got the right status and the right name, you could probably bag her. Well, she let him smash Raw. You know, you know the backstory? Yeah, yeah. I, I pay attention to them a lot. I actually watch mm -hmm. them a lot. And so, like I said, uh, as a uh, somebody that watches them a lot, I don't think he really took an L. I think that's expected. Mm. Uh, like, for the lifestyle that he preaches, that he lives, you know what I'm saying? He's out here talking about, you know, he's... You how, know. how much does a kid cost for 18 years? And where are they, in Miami? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if she can get... Uh, I, I don't know what, what the... the, the child um, um child support rates are down there but uh you know uh he may be in for an 18 year haul you know H how much per month you know shit yeah i don't know i know the average is like a million dollars by the time they're 18 you spend on a kid and in miami it's probably going to be more and since he's like a, a rich man he probably has to pay even more like so, I've been probably one point five two million across eighteen years. Okay, I don't necessarily know, but um, all right. So um, so so uh, with regards to you know um um Marvin, who's very upset. I, I Myron, pardon me, Myron, who's very upset. Um, are, are they and and them bringing on some type of lawyer? I didn't see that. Uh, what what is the um the outlook for the Fresh and Fit podcast? I don't think that that um, podcast is ever going to fail at this point unless they get caught up on the R word charges at, at this point because it's all about male improvement. And at the end of the day, there's always going to be an audience for that. And their show is kind of like hard to replicate at this point. There's been other people bringing on 10 girls every week and none of those shows are taking off the way that Fresh and Fit is. So I don't really think this is a problem for them. I think all, what did, what do you call that? All press is good press. This is uh, one of those type of things. It's, hmm. it's blowing them up. Literally, when they did their live with the lawyer that you referenced, okay. they had the most viewers they've ever had in, like, months okay. at once. Okay. Do you think that this is all uh, some type of orchestrated scheme? No. Like I said, uh, the way he talks about the way he smashes out here, like I've seen I've seen this coming. You know what I'm saying? He's an island boy. You know, they ain't out here using rubbers every time. Mm -hmm. Was he so, from Nigeria like, or, or? um Barbados? Wow. Well, why am I thinking Nigeria? And and I saw a video with uh, uh, his soon to be baby mama giving some type of sandals to a an, an older woman. Was that his mother? I didn't see that video. I haven't seen that video. The hater misses nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I missed that one. If he if he already introduced her to his mom, then that's you see that's simp behavior. 
So, so the show can go on, yes, and I don't want to see this show, you know, um, 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 come to an end. But uh, in terms of, um, you know, what, what it is that they are preaching, in a sense, uh, I don't know if I can look at Fresh anymore and, and without saying, "Hey, that nigga's a simp," you know? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I look at it in a way of uh, coach is coach. Okay. You know, like they might tell you to do one thing and they're going to mess up. They're the coach or, the, or, you know, the coach can tell LeBron to do something, but the coach can't play better than LeBron. And the coach would mess up if he tried. What about uh, Myron? Is he a father? Is he married? I don't know his background. No, he doesn't have no wife from what he says. I think he has like multiple girlfriends. I know he has one, but he talks like he got like multiple girlfriends. Is he a father? No, not a father. Okay. All right. Well, it, maybe he's learned how to skeet on a bitch and not in her, you know. The right. Fucking, I mean, uh, fresh. AKA yeah. Walter, <laughs> Walter Weeks. Is his last name Weeks? It might be White. It might be White. Oh, no, that's the dude from uh, Breaking Bad. It, it's Weeks. So you say you're a fan. I'm looking at W E E K E S. Nah, yeah. I know him as fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't no super, you know, like, I don't okay. know. You know. Yeah, well, hey, man, sorry. good to talk to you. Thank you for tapping for sure. in. And listen, you keep me up to speed on what's going on in Puerto Rico. I mean, even though you're yeah, in yeah. Puerto, where are you getting, Milwaukee? Yeah, Milwaukee. Yeah, you know, just keep your eye on Puerto Rico, man. The raping, uh, yeah. the robbing. Oh, yeah, I got something to say about that. Incest, the pedophilia, all that shit. Okay, can I say one thing about that? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I looked up the rates. I mean, no rate is a good rate. But Alaska has a two times worse rate than Puerto Rico, and that's in America. <laughs> well, now, are you taking a shot at, at the natives? No, no, I'm just saying it wasn't the the craziest rate. And I got another stat for you. It was what, only what, what, 10... what stats are give us the, the what you're talking about? You're talking about rape, okay, incest, okay, okay, um, domestic violence. What are you armed uh, robbery? What are you doing? Like, uh, um, just sexual related charges, okay. Um, New Jersey only had 10 less. <laughs> yeah. That was all. I mean, I, I saw it. Like breakdown I breakdown of population versus uh, certain <laughs> regions? Uh, what are you talking about? It was like per 100,000. Like the rate per 100,000. Okay, okay. Listen, man, I appreciate you tapping in. Next time we, we talk, I want you to find out if the U.S. Navy is still using VX <laughs> for target yeah. practice in Puerto Rico. <laughs> All right, I got you. Fucking I got you. Live, they've been living out there for fucking generations. The goddamn <laughs> Navy is shooting fucking goddamn missiles into that place for practice. Hey, the, the U.S. is crazy, man. That's their territory. They treat it as such sometimes. Yeah. Good to talk to you, man. Good to talk to you. For sure, have a good night, homie. Okay. All right. It's my nigga Bone doing work. My he's he's my young Puerto Rican correspondent. He's, he does a little research. Good guy. Good guy. Um, hold on, folks. I want to make sure I'm promoting the sponsors here. Hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. Did I promote that one yet? Okay, wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Dub 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 tossed and slice.com that is a great restaurant i'm going to talk a little bit more about them when i come back um let me pull up the information as well while um i'm sitting here sipping having a great uh, great time hey ruth ai generate okay thank you so much ruth okay i'm not sure what's what that's about but thank you thank you thank you okay um okay and also guys um um, I mentioned earlier, pardon me, I mentioned earlier, Charleston White going in balls deep on Sexy Red. Does anybody care? And he was, he was literally saying he hates her. I think that's very strong. Sexy Red is a, 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 a rapper, you know, uh, I guess artist to some degree. I'm not trying to stop her, her, her hustle and, uh, we will always need a sexy red in America. Somebody who just, you know, projects, you know, the, the raunchy, the ratchet, the real. Um, and, and we've got simps like Drake drooling over her. You know, Drake's a simp. 
Ice Spice curbed him a year or so ago. But but the question, I guess, was um, is she putting out bad energy into the universe? Bad energy. She is a young woman of influence. And again, I'm not coming at her per se, but that 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 vibe, you know? Charleston White went in on her. And and he 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 speaks, he's you know, uh, he's, he's a good speaker. I, I like the way how he uh, articulates himself and other things. Or is it not necessarily that deep? If you're just now joining me, I spoke about what I perceive to be a, a real raunchy um, culture in terms of its um, um, propaganda, if you will. And that is the, the Latin community. If you look at, again, uh, Televisión, uh, uh, Telemundo, Univision, pardon me, and just turn the volume down. Watch it for 20 minutes. You, you'll swear to God you're looking at fucking soft porn. You know, so I'm not saying I'm not saying that um, the sexy red and the image imagery is that deep, but you might think different if you're a parent. Okay, just want to put that out there. Uh, let me go to every code. Um, somebody was on hold. Pardon me. Um, two one five. Are you there? Good evening. Late night edition. Two one five. A few topics. Yeah, you doing tonight, sir? Hey, how are you, man? Crack him. I wanted to touch on the uh, fresh and fit um, pregnancy, and I have a different view on it. Go ahead. I want to know what what you thought. Um, so I've been at parties in Miami with uh, with both of those guys, and I see the circles that they run in. And if anything, him getting that girl pregnant gives him credibility where he never had none. Mm. And if they use that properly and the way they handled the situation with him you know calling her all this stuff um you know i want to kill the baby have an abortion mm -hmm. i gotta talk to all these other girls to me they well, hang on a second so i never heard him say he wanted to kill the baby where are you getting that from no i'm um, there's texts that are published say that again. uh say that again. state that you know just take a pill and there's also a voice um um, a voice recording. Okay. Well, okay. I, I had the audio in my community section, but he didn't necessarily say, quote unquote, he wants to kill the baby, right? I, I want to be fair. Well, I mean, I don't I don't know if that's exactly the word, but the way the way I read it and I think the way a lot of people are looking at it is you know, my viewpoint, but uh, you know, okay. I mean, that could be just me. Okay, no, it's fine. Go ahead. But so what I'm saying about the situation is it gave credibility to him where he didn't have it before and gave the show credibility. Okay. And I think if, if they would have just shut up about the situation and said, you know, nothing besides, you know, I'm a guy, I deal with women, I deal with attractive women, and this can happen. I think a lot of the audience that watches them would have been like, this dude is getting those kinds of girls for real where we never thought he did and he was just talking about it okay and could have turned that negative into a huge positive okay because i watch a show from time to time but i'm not you know i don't watch it regularly but i think it was dying off and this really could have if they handled it differently would have catapulted their show okay. instead of killing it are they um, being monetized again? Because I haven't tuned in since they were demonetized. Do you know this, that status? I, I do not know. As far as I know, um, they were demonetized. I don't know where they're at right now uh, with that situation. But, you know, as far as the way I would have handled it, it would have been completely different. And I don't know who advises them. And I know they had an attorney on mm -hmm. and all of that. but. I mean, me just looking at it, like reframing it to a po how could I use this as a positive? I mean, if the kid's there, the kid's there. What are you going to do? Right, right, right. <laughs> so you might as well make more money to pay for, <laughs> you know, the bills that are coming up. And I just think they handled it ev wrong in every single way. You know, you don't move like that 
when people know who you are. Right, right. You don't put stuff in text. That's just stupid. I mean, mm-hmm. you look at all these situations with all these, you know, movie stars and whatnot, and text being published. Don't you see that? And know that, you know, I'm a person in the media. I shouldn't do that. Right, right, right. <laughs> Well, now, yeah. Hang on a second, because I can respect what you're saying, you know, but uh, these guys are like the, the leaders, if you will, in terms of red pill, you know, alpha male, um, 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 you know, um, just the whole alpha male swag, you know, and <laughs> you don't think it hurts the credibility. OK, they're going to get more traffic, clearly, uh, more more eyes on their individual platforms, but it does not hurt the integrity of the brand? I never believed they were alpha males. They can talk about it. Okay. But like I said, I mean, I've been in circles. There's um, charity events that I attend in Miami. Okay. And I've seen them there. And what they're talking about and what my viewpoint of them are very far apart. Okay. So if other people are like me, Yes, it's entertaining, but mm. I don't think they're actually what they preach. Mm. But with this situation showing that, you know, they can say what they want about her, and I don't think they should attack her because it just makes them look worse. Right, right, right. But right. if she was actually high value and they just said, I'm a high value guy, I deal with girls like this, she got pregnant, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Nothing more to say. Okay. Just leave the mystery, you know, leave it, leave it there. Let it, let people talk about it. Mm-hmm. Because if you address it like that, I think that's a positive for their show. Because like I said, it gives them credibility where I, I never had a viewpoint of them as being the alpha male. They can say what they want, right. but how they, what they say and how they move are two different things. Did you watch the lawyer on their show? I did not see that episode. Did you see the lawyer talking to? Uh, I did. I did not. I've just seen bits and pieces of this, and the reason, like I said, I called in because, um, you know, I'm, I'm in, you know, circles that they're in. Okay. So okay. the reason why I asked that is because you know, decades ago, David Lee Roth, lead singer uh, for, for for Van Halen, when they used to go on tour, he used to get insurance from Lloyd's of London, David Lee Roth. And, you know, he was smashing chicks raw. And if you got pregnant, um, he had insurance. And you back then you could only get maybe, I don't know, maybe 25,000 at the most. Um, um, and, and I forget how he did that, whether he uh, verbally, uh, you know, told them about his insurance or whether they signed something. But, you know, he was, he, he, he was back in those days, he used to call him a coxman. A coxman s- slinging cock, <laughs> hey. but yeah, Lloyd's of London. I mean, a lot of I don't know if these guys today do that or if they they just you know just smashing these bitches raw and then keep winding up on fucking TMZ paying fucking twenty grand a month. Holy shit, that's crazy. But go ahead, finish up. Go ahead, finish up. Yeah, I mean, but that's, you know, that's just my viewpoint. I think if they would have handled this right, this would have uh, made them a, a lot bigger than they are. Because to me, it gives it gives me a different outlook on them because I didn't think that they were dealing with girls like that. Okay, okay. Whether he was paying her, whatever it was, I think the less they would have talked on the situation, the less attention they would have gave it, the better it would have been for their show. <laughs> Because their target audience is guys who aren't really dealing with girls like that. Okay. And obviously, he's not an attractive dude. I don't care who you are. To me, he's not an attractive yeah, dude. And he yeah. was dealing with that very attractive girl. So it gives him some credibility. And for me, you know, it just you know looks bad to me because they're attacking her. When I think she's very basic. You're you're saying she's very attractive. Right. Have have you? Been, been smashing chicks of her uh, ilk or caliber? I don't really. I, 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 I'm I Italian, but I prefer Latinas, and I pretty much stick to Latinas only. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I mean, to me, she, she's attractive. I mean, like I said, not 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 for me, but she is, I mean, very attractive, very fit and, and whatnot. So, uh, and for somebody of 
of you know who looks like him right that's a win right right right, <laughs> so, right. okay okay i appreciate the call man thank you thank you all right yes, thank sir. you Good call, good call. Guys, on the screen, youtube.com forward slash at Sky Saunders. I'm not sure if Skyler is awake or not, but um, hold on a second. Uh, is it Percy? I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Fresh just needs to pay the bitch 60K to a board. <laughs> I don't think that she's going to take that now. <laughs> you see, a lot of these hoes today, they, they do the math. It's not like before. Back in the days, you could, you know, for shit, five racks was a lot of money, you know, before Instagram. Now you got these bitches thinking, thinking about uh, 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 Instagram and uh, what is the OnlyFans. Thank you for your donation, Percy. Hmm? Big J got your donation. Sexy Red is just a ghetto gaga with the mic. Okay. Okay. Did you see Charleston White going in on her? Sheesh. Now, I can I can appreciate him, you know, because, again, he's put boots to the ground, done a lot of work for young people. He talks it and he walks it like myself. I respect that. And I don't know how long of a career she will have. But the energy that she's putting out there, is it is it is it a bad thing? I I I don't know. Because if she's again, if she's making money, bettering herself, providing for her nucleus and those around her giving people jobs. Maybe at some point, you know, there's a change, a shift, a pivot. You know, and it's not always uh, what we think. Lauren, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Mm. Congrats to Miss Daisy Fit for wifing fresh. Got him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> she got the whole ass nigga. I mean, I just <laughs> from a pimp's perspective, she caught a lick. Does she have a pimp somewhere, huh? Does she have a pimp that sicked her on that nigga? And the pimp is all in her ear. Bitch, you keeping that baby, huh? Don't don't you dare. Let that hoe ass nigga convince you to put your feet in the stirrups. Yeah, as you just said, Alona. Got him. Got him. <laughs> uh, sit tight, guys. One more second. Um, hey, Miriam. Oh, what a nice donation. Thank you, Miriam. She says you're crazy, but you you told the truth. Puerto Rican men do crash out for their Puerto Rican queens. Yeah, stabbing and shooting in every goddamn body. Sheesh. Uh, okay, who who is this? Have you sent it a donation? Who is Emmanuel? Who are you, sir? Where is your donation? Hold on a second. Uh, let's get you let's get you on the screen here. I'm I'm not stressing nothing, sir. I just I, I can't have broke niggas on the screen. My 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 audience does not want to hear from uh, the perspective of a broke nigga. With all due respect, every code. 984, good evening. Are you there? It's late night. 984. 012. Hey, uh, this is Peaches. Who's this? This is Peaches, Peach Rose from North Carolina. Peaches, what's up, baby? How are you? It's cracking. Nothing much. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it and I love you. Oh, um, thank you, baby. I just want to drop in. Yes, sir. I just want to drop in and say, like, um, where's the apology? Where's the apology from the egg on the face? Like, from from all this controversy, putting black women down, he gave the steps on what to look for, mm. what condemn all women across the board, and then turn around and get played. Where's the public apology? Right. Where's the outrage? Like, right, right. right. You know, yeah. So are they going to just sweep this under the rug, or are they still going to back this man? Either way, women cannot win. You got a respectful, wholesome woman. She's a bodybuilder. They was dating. Women still in the wrong, no matter what we do. 
you know, she dating this dude, and he's like, you know, the, with the conversations. I know everybody's done seen that. But how could, how, how dare he shift the blame on the woman? How would a woman know? I mean, it's like, do y'all even like women at this point? Do y'all want to have sex with us? I mean, like, we can't win for losing. Mm -hmm. If I can respond to what you've just said. And then y'all want to get on people like Sexy Red. Y'all want to get on people like Sexy Red. She she being successful. She spread positivity everywhere she go. Yes, yeah, she's a little horse, mm -hmm. But I thought men like they women whores. Well, stay with me because uh, I want to. Have a host of women. But can, a man baby, still can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Stay with me. Stay with me. I want to respond to what you said. I don't necessarily know their history. But you're right with regards to um, uh, um, uh, Fresh. I remember he was saying he doesn't date black women, right? It was it fresh or fit? One of them or the two of them? Both of them. Both, Both of them. them. Both okay. of them. Okay. 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 Listen, I've I've already said a a, a a black woman will hold you down to deal with all sorts of shit. So so here he has got caught lacking by what appears to be a three a three oh four. I'm not going to call her an escort because I'm not trying to catch a catch a case. But now, uh, yeah, in terms of uh, an apology. Do you watch their show? Do you think he will apologize to the audience? Because he, he, that that's some behavior. Even if he doesn't apologize, I just want him to take accountability. Mm -hmm. And judging from the text messages and everything, mm -hmm. he's not taking ability for being uh, two-faced, you know, for being fake. And I, I just, how can other men respect that? Right. So that's all I'm saying. You know, that's all I'm saying. Like, where does that leave us as a woman? Like, here's your proof. He's talking so bad about women. Right. Here he go. He falls for one of those women. Now what? You know what? We got women got that much game right, right. over y'all. So it's, it's like, at this point, I don't know, Star. I'm going to have to find me a white man and just try because I, I love my black king. I love my black chains. I really try. I really right. do. But it, you know, I'm about to find some white penis and see what it do to me. Well, well, now stay with me. Let, let's let's gravitate towards the uh, the next. Uh, uh, well, it was kind of somewhat sort of a topic of, of discussion. Someone sent in a a comment uh, based upon my show yesterday. I, I don't know if you saw it or not, but I was I was really trying to have the discussion about missing black women and children and the consensus by where the donations, the calls, the emails, people just weren't interested. Someone sent in a comment. Um, saying that most black men let me see if i can uh just did you hear the comment or should i read it again no i didn't i'm, I'm on the phone I, i'm not looking at the thing okay okay someone sent in a comment under yesterday's show at the fizz factory 8703 black men don't care because they internally hate themselves they hate who created them but uh they can't take it out on their moms and family so they take it out on innocent women in the community they don't care because they fail to comprehend that they uh, can only be created by a black woman. They don't care because they can't save us. They couldn't save themselves from slavery, Jim Crow, lynchings, etc. They are the docile male being sub subjugated by white supremacy, and they actually love it. Why change what you love? Now I have to make a long ass comment about why black women don't care. So I was, you know, being objective and reading this, uh, I assume a black woman is commenting and at comment and asking the question, is the black man a coward? I say black men are in cow is a coward because of the police shootings. There was a man not too long ago that got gunned down, empty handed, a whole bunch of black people standing around. There were five, six police officers and they tased them and then they gunned them down in front of everybody. A whole bunch of black men standing around. That's the only way we are cowardly. When other people do stuff to us, nobody does anything. Mm. But as soon as another black person does something, like, look how we're uh, crucifying P. Diddy. I ain't saying he's wrong or whatnot, but I'm, hey, I, yeah, take that, take that. It's whatever. He's standing on his own 10 feet. We ain't got nothing to do with that. You know, I mean, we do, but we don't. He, he's defending himself. He got the money and resources. It's not like this is a poor black man getting taken advantage of. It's a rich man, and he played those games, so that's on him. But when it comes to the regular folks, Nobody stands up and do nothing. So, yes, black men are cowardly. Because if that happened in another community, in Puerto Rican, whatever, if that happened in any other community, they would have been on their ass. Somebody would have threw a rock or something, mm. a rock or something, mm. shot some guns up in the air mm. or something. Um, yeah. G George Floyd, a.k.a. G Gator from the movie Jungle Fever, you know, it, somebody should at least bust him upside the head with a bottle, right? 
something spit on him. Shit, yeah. a little something. I, I, I'm talking about the officer who had his, oh, damn, who had, water gun. the officer who had his uh, a knee on George Floyd's neck. Somebody should have hit him in the head with a bottle. Get off of him, pow! Right? Yeah, like whisper. You could have whispered, "No, don't do that. That's wrong." But everybody was quiet. You ain't right. even, you know. So I don't know. That's yeah. why the only reason why I say now I'm not giving up on black men at all, cause or any man in that, cause I, you know, I was thinking about turning gay, because you know I, I'm just not getting what I'm what I'm needing. But you know, <laughs> pussy is kind of it's kind of it's kind of itchy, so I don't think that's for me. Right, so right. I'm not giving up on y'all. No, right. I'm not giving up. I'm just using this time to like, you know, I guess learn more intellectually for myself so when the right man do come along i can at least you know be something that he'll be interested in or more willing to fight for because i see where black men are going black women nowadays are not something we're fighting for at least with other races they have a stronger culture more more standards behind them they have more substance that the black man can leech off of and learn from that as well but if you're too you know if you if you're still if you're both not on that level then as a black community whole, we're not going to elevate. And so, of course, black women have to be the trend starters. And we are. We're getting more education. We're graduating and all this. So I, we just, I guess, for the real natural women out there, we're going to have to wait for y'all to catch up. And, I, I, hey, it is what it is. Girl, I like your energy. Stay in touch. And thank you for your support. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, we're cooking late night. Hang on a second, guys. Um... I'm looking at some of these good guys. I, I can't respond to a bunch of emails. Something, something here. Where, who are you, sir? Uh, I'm going to take a chance on you. Hold on a second. I have no idea who you are. If you, if you do something crazy, goddamn, I'll just, Drop the call. Check your email. I just uh, responded to you. Guys, on the screen, one of my sponsors, BLK, the dating app for black singles, okay? 10.5 million downloads, and that's a free app, BLK, okay? Go to my community section. You will see a link right there. Tell them I sent you, okay? Um, Okay, thank you, LaTanya. I got your email. Thank you so much, uh, young lady. Okay, yes, yeah, stay in touch. Stay in touch. And let me just say this with regards to um, Candace Owens, in case you're just now joining me. Candace Owens has challenged Ben Shapiro yesterday on X on her page she challenged ben shapiro to a debate on israel hamas um, um anti-semitism and more uh supposedly he has accepted the challenge for a debate ben shapiro you know i, I like some of the stuff he he talks about but he's he's a fast talker and um i'm trying to remember who was that there was an older journalist from the uk who chewed Shoot him up and spit him out. I forget his name. He's sharp when it comes to the younger people. He goes to those colleges. Oh, he's he's quick. I don't know if he's going to be that quick with Candace. Um, I did not see their, their show that often on the Daily Wire, which she was let go from or part of ways, whatever. But uh, she has challenged him to a debate for those who... Um, May or may not know, okay? Uh, okay, somebody was trying to uh, cam up and then something happened. Uh, it says device is not connected. I don't know who you are. Um, hang on a second, guys. Somebody tapping in, tapping in, pardon me, from, um, looks like Atlanta, 678. Good evening, are you there? 678? Yes, I'm here. Hey, 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 who's this? Uh, me, Shay. Hey, how are you, baby? I wanted to talk about the fresh and fit. I know you guys are talking about Candace. No, I, I just mentioned Candace Owens. That, that's not really a topic, but um, yeah, oh. fresh and fit, the rise okay, and yeah, fall. So I was, Come on. <laughs> randomly, I was listening to everything that was going on with him saying that he got a bodybuilder named Fresh, I mean, named Fit Pregnant. And I think it was kind of stupid. Only reason why is because... <clears throat> 
he uh he did everything that he's against. Right. Right. Yeah. And on the back end, he tried to get her to have an abortion. Mm-hmm. And even though uh, what Florida is a uh, you got but baby, listen, listen to me. Uh, it sounds like you're reading the live chat. Don't do that. Stay with me here because if you lose focus okay. on the conversation, I got to get you out of here. Never mind the the, the the troll. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Getting at you. Okay. Come yeah. on. Okay. I'm a troll baby as well. Come on. Come on. What I was saying is he did everything that he wasn't, that he's against. Right. And right. they were saying something along the lines of, are they going to get rid of fit? But I don't think they're going to get rid of him because, you know, a man is just going to act in his nature and she was gullible enough to do it with him. So I know it's going to sound mean, but she got what she got. Mm. She really should have read between the lines. The show is all about, you know, them pandering to, you know, men. Mm-hmm. It's not about the women. So tell, I really feel Tell us what she got <laughs> in in your opinion. What did she get? She got um How do I say it nicely cuz I'm a woman. Okay. Okay, uh shoot. She got to experience what it's like to be treated <laughs> mean in America. Because hmm. honestly, wow. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Can I can I ask how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 33. Okay, and I'm gonna say this one last time. Stay with me here. Never mind the live chat because you're stuttering, you're stalling, and I I know what that means. That means you you're not focused on the conversation. Okay. In, in my okay. opinion, she... also, I'm nervous because I watch you all the time. Okay, thank you, Dawn. In my opinion, not that, yeah. not that you have to agree with me, she got herself a lame. Did you hear the audio and hear how she's talking to him? Oh, I think he's extremely lame. Yeah. So in reality, she got herself a payday. She got a come up off of a nigga who's supposed to be, uh, uh, you know, leading the charge for red pill men. Yes, but but in reality, she got him by the balls. She says she's keeping uh-huh. the ba- keeping the baby. Recorded the conversation. So he's looking at 18 years of child support. Go ahead and finish up. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's more to say, but I'm going to say lastly, you know how she had that uh, bracelet? Uh, she said she buys them all the time because she has an account with them, but she said he bought her a fake one. Are you talking so about yes, that- Are you talking about the $30,000 bracelet? Yes, uh, she said he bought her a fake one, and she said that he said he did not know. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, hey, I appreciate Yeah, so basically that's why I said she got what she got, because okay. it's like he was saying it. She was even on the show. That's all. Okay, I appreciate And thank you for picking up the call. I love you so much, Star. Thank you, baby. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Okay. Late night. Uh, salute to JBK416. Star, she committed a felony. Florida is a two-party consent state. She is going to jail, and she's here on a visa. So her and her uh, baby will be deported. Okay. Okay. El Busito Galore behind every single... Okay, I read that one. <laughs> Okay, hold on a second. Uh, good evening. Who do we have on the screen there? What's up, G? This is uh, Emmanuel Liadzo. Nice to meet you. I've been watching the show for forever. I have to say to all new uh, uh, callers and viewers, I do not share content, okay? So you cannot mm-hmm. take this video and re- repost it, or we will give you a copyright strike. I have to I say mean, that. I'm well aware. I'm well aware. I've been watching you for hell long. I just had to say that. Well, thank you for tapping in. Can you pull back from the camera just a little bit? Okay, there you go. Perfect. A little close, a little close. There you go, there you go. So where do you want to chime in? A couple of topics. Are you a fresh and fit fan of their podcast? Well, yeah, I'm not a fan of anybody, but yeah, definitely watch Fresh and Fit. And uh, as far as fit goes, uh, who's that? It was fit? Yeah, fit. I mean, what do you expect? He's not doing nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, It's actually it, fresh who fresh, has yeah. the, the, the girl so so-called allegedly pregnant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Fresh, he he kind of reminds me of a guy who 
he's never he doesn't really have much swag he's never really had chicks before right. now he's got a little bit of clout and he's uh he's out there getting chicks so um now nah, i mean let the guy live let him do his thing the chick probably isn't pregnant you know she's she's seen him he's an easy lick he's a mark you know uh because there's a text there's text of uh him talking to chick and he was like saying stuff like he loves her and stuff like that you know so he, he he's a simp you know he's a super simp but <laughs> I mean, you know, and then as far as um, but, but now, hang on, hang on, you you see, I I don't I haven't been watching in quite some time, so I'm I'm really looking to be educated. Didn't she post pictures of, of the pregnancy uh, results? Uh, yeah, she did. Yeah, she posted pictures. She's been posting everything. She's been posting everything. Right. Matter of fact, fresh. If I'm not if I'm not wrong, he met her on the podcast. So in a way, this podcast is just like a funnel for him to get chicks for both of them yeah, to get chicks. Yeah. You know, like he's not, he's not, he's not like a ladies' man like that. You know, so I mean, it, it's good, it's good content. I'm I'm here for the I'm here for the BS, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh then but you're now, ugly. let me jump in and, and I, I want you to I want you to talk at length here. But now she could have gotten those images from off the goddamn internet. We don't know. Yeah. Um, did they ever get uh, uh, their monetization back? I haven't been there since it got demonetized, and that's not in any way, shape, or form a diss. I just, you know, I, I said, oh, okay, I'll get back to them. Did they get the monetization back? No, I don't think they ever got that back. I think they just switched it to where uh, they're just doing live streams similar to you, and then they have the other platform on Rumble. Okay. But, no, I think they're still demonetized. I mean, I used on to YouTube. watch it regularly, but but you know, I don't watch it as much. I just watch here and there. You know, what was the your other the other my bad to ask, but what was the other one? I forgot real quick. The other topic? Yeah, the other topic. Yeah. Well, hang on a second. I, 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 I want to finish up on uh fresh and fit. So uh unless you tell me different, I'm saying this is this is the fall, man. Because once you lose that 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 credibility, man, it's like it, it's it's hard to bounce back, you know, and, and the the, the audience of today is so quick to just say, hey, you know, I gave you a shot and you, you went out on some I think, thing, I think this is the rise because, as a matter of fact, Fresh has been taking L's for the longest. The whole the the whole thing with Fresh is he takes L's on that podcast. Okay. The, the, the fan base, they, they just rag on Fresh all day. They say he doesn't do anything. He's a lame. He's ugly, mm. this and that. So this actually kind of gives him a little bit of credibility. You know, because now it's like, okay, he's out here, he's out here banging baddies, okay. Mm, Regardless okay. If, if it's if it's because they're just out here for clout, whatever. He's act, he's actually out here getting chicks, he's getting them pregnant. So it kind of makes him like um gives him a little bit of credibility. You know, I think it's actually gonna be the rise, you know. Maybe you wow. maybe you see fresh kind of branch off and do his own thing, you know. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Well, the other topics we, we've kind of moved past, moved past them. Um, are blacks uh, cursed in the Bible? Uh, or oh, I was I was asking about um, uh, 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 sexy red. Charleston White went in on her. Mm, yeah, let me. Can I get on her? Please, I'm from St. Louis. Go ahead. I'm from St. Louis. Sexy red is disgusting. She's absolutely disgusting. Like, mm. you know, I'm 29 years old. Uh, I grew up most of my life in St. Louis. Okay. Sexy Red, she's repping St. Louis. The girls in St. Louis are looking up to her. The kid, like, she's just disgusting. I can't stand her, you know? I can't. Mm. I'm, I'm 100% I, in agreement with uh, Charleston White because St. Louis, for a while, was the most dangerous place. Sexy Red, especially because this kind of goes hand in hand with what you were talking about with black people being cursed and this and that. Sexy Red is like a... Uh, She's a sellout. You know what I'm saying? She's a she's out here uh, influencing these girls in St. Louis to take the path that uh, she's on, even though she probably doesn't really even live like that, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it's just really disgusting. You know, it's like you're making these girls, you're influencing these girls to become pregnant, you know, uh, destroying the black family, continuing okay. to destroy the black family. Okay. Uh, continuing perpetuating this like curse that that's that's here. So I can't stand sexy red. And then she's getting rich off of it. She's a clown. She's a bum. Mm. You know I can't stand her. Yeah. 
I'm not saying you're wrong. I just I just wanted someone like yourself to speak to what Charleston White said because you know he he he's he's out there in the field, man. You know, and he's this is his time. You know, he he stands yeah. ten toes down. I can respect what he says and does. But now at the same time, we've got simps like Drake just all over her. I, I saw her new video with the Soldier Boy and 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 Drake is just. You know, when you have a big cosign like that, it's it's uh, it's influential, wouldn't you say? Yeah, but you know, I mean, it's like it's like uh, it's like next thing you're gonna see with Sexy Red, she's gonna be promoting the the Democrat the Democratic stuff. Right. It's like uh, it's like what's the word for it? <laughs> it's just I it's. You know what I'm saying? I would be thing. surprised. I didn't mean to catch up. I wouldn't be surprised if she pops up at the White House with the exactly. Kamala. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like uh, Easy E back in the day he, at the White House. Whoever is uh, promoting destruction to the black community, they're going to the White House. Good point. You know what I'm saying whoever's promoting selling drugs, they're going to the White House. Good point. Sexy Red yeah. promotes uh, single motherism. She promotes pregnancy, which is going to, uh, you know, more like kids getting STDs, stuff like that. She She's kind of bad. I'll give her that. She's kind of bad. But Drake is also kind of uh, he, he's an enemy. I like mm -hmm. Drake. I fuck with the music, to be honest. But yeah, he promotes he co-signs all the all the B, the BS, you know, and the kids right. don't know any right. different, right. you know, and uh, also. Sexy Red, we used to have Nelly, we used to have Chingy, we used to have Jaquan, now we have Sexy Red. So as far as St. Louis hip hop, like it's went downhill terribly, it went down, downhill real bad. Okay, okay, okay. But, uh, hey man, I, I appreciate before, it. Before let me go. Go ahead. But is that right if I promote? Absolutely, sure. Well, all right, I'm a professional fighter, uh, Emmanuel Yadzo. I'm out here in California, I'm pro MMA fighter. Uh, check out my YouTube. I post uh, fitness content, stuff like that. I'm going to try calling in more. And um, whenever, you know, UFC 300 is coming up, I don't know if you're going to do a, a watch along with that. If you guys need fight picks, whatever, just hit me up yeah. on my channel. Well, well, listen, if you can send me an email with regards to uh, your channel, we'll, we'll put you in the community section. I appreciate you tapping in. And thank you I for bet. your support. Appreciate you, OG. Yes, sir. I'm in. Thank you, man. Salute. Okay. Peace. Okay.